And we are live! Hello! With Mouse Guard, episode 2, in the shadows of Lockhaven. Um, we're ready to play mice. I'm hyped. You're hyped. We're all hyped. So, uh, I'm just gonna go throw it over to our wonderful Game Master, which I love it. It gives me a smile every time I say it. Um, and he's gonna just... Uh, I'll hand it to you, Ethan. Actually, because... Oh, yes. This is, this is session 2. Mm -hmm. Um, how... There's actually an in-game benefit to providing a synopsis of the last session. Oh. So if whoever does the synopsis of the last session can either um, recover a point of tax nature, which we have not talked about, and I mm -hmm. will be talking about this session, Okay. or recover from a condition. So if someone has a condition they want to fix up, you can actually do the synopsis right now. I think Chester's the only one with a condition. Yep, Chester has a condition. He's a little hungry and thirsty. So I guess I can do a synopsis if that's what we'd like to do. I was going to go no goes, but uh, <laughs> you know, there's benefits. There's, there's an actual benefit to to doing the synopsis. Okay. Benefits. <laughs> All right. So synopsis, as as understood by Chester Mouse, uh, in the last session, our first session, as we were learning. Uh, we found out, we were called to the mayor's office to tell us that we needed to make uh, a new trail to Thistle Down, I believe it was, um, because there was a large tree that fell across the path. And we needed, me as a guide and cartographer, I needed to make a new map and take my stalwart adventuring companions with me. Uh, so we decided to go on our way. And we made, well, we also had to take the mail, which is very mm -hmm. important because uh, mail is something that, uh, we do on a regular uh, basis. It's an important aspect of our jobs. So we took the mail and that ended up being a problem because there was also a squirrel that just happened to be along the trail that thought the mail was more important, uh, was, was something fun to play with. And so we worked together as a team and tried to save the mail and the squirrel, but we got the mail, uh, the squirrel disappeared. Um, so I expect zombie squirrels soon. That'll be fun. Um, <laughs> and uh, and so then we finally made our way. Uh, we, we had a camp out. Um, Chester and, and Cookie uh, found some herbs. Uh, we had some good food. And our little friend Patches went and played in the mail and found an interesting package that happened to have some poppy seeds in it. And when she opened it, she passed out immediately with her hand and face still in the box. I, it was pretty great. Uh, we ended up saving her from her own curiosity, which normally kills cats, not mice, but you know, this time we'll make it an exception. And uh, ended up delivering the mail as we should. Uh, we challenged Cole of Thistledown who was the recipient of the package of poppy seeds, but he seemed to be an all right guy, a scientist who was only doing things for the good of Maustum, so we let him go. Ended our session at the ranger house where we met an old, uh, Angus the vet, I think his name was, uh, an old mouse guard uh, who took a like into patches and uh, Cookie ended up making meals for everyone, and poor Chester tried to work on his map, updating the maps, and ended up skipping meals and getting hungry because he had a job to do to make sure the maps were updated properly. I believe that's a quick synopsis. It just occurred to me that, Lindy, you were trying to get me to uh, introduce everybody. <laughs> 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 so, uh, hello, I'm Ethan. I'm, I'm the Game Master. We're playing House Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ethan. <laughs> Hi. He's the game master. Game master. And he also did these lovely little pixel mice, and they're so cute. They are. And the, and the whole art in the background here. So Ethan's awesome. On like uh, many levels. So we we know that you're you're playing Chester. Uh, yes, I'm Deception Check. I'm playing Chester. I'm also driving this show right off the rails from the beginning. So I'm happy to be here. This is great. And I'm, you want? Oh, go, ahead. go, go. Okay. I'm Cookie, um, Baker Mouse, ready to cook and try all the things and be jolly and happy. Oh yeah, and I'm Patch. I'm Patches. I'm a little mouse, and I'm fearless and fierce, and I get lost sometimes. But I want to be a pirate when I grow up. That's why I have an earring and 
is a hook and line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, as I mentioned just before we went live, uh, we're going to start this session strong because you guys are kind of like waking up. I, I'm not I'm not going to assume anything uh, on your, your sort of waking up habits, but actually, let's go over that. Dawn is just breaking. And that's normally when you, you all kind of wake up and start getting ready to do things for the day. H how do we open up this scene? We're still in the ranger house. You guys are in sort of like uh, hammock bunks. <laughs> can can Cookie be on the top bunk with it <laughs> sagging really low because of his heavy weight for because he's a big mouse. And he's just sagging down in the bed and... <sighs> I mean, he's going to kind of sit up and blink in the eyes and rub in his face and, you know, the whiskers. And then he's going to look down a bit and, thunk, like, roll onto the floor with a heavy thud. <laughs> and uh, he's going to get up and start doing some stretches. And uh, he's actually going to stumble like a half-awake, no-coffee-up mouse to the kitchen um, to start prepping some breakfast. Because, you know, he's a breakfast-making machine. He loves his breakfast breads and all the other good stuff. So that's what he's going to do. Okay. Uh, you don't have too many <laughs> ingredients here. You probably only have enough to make, like, maybe some pancakes. Ooh, I like where you're going with this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> good, good motivation. Let's do some pancakes. <laughs> pancakes have a long long standing they're, they're actually very easy to make with mouse materials yeah. uh, that makes sense yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. well, he'll get in there and he'll start prepping you know the skillet with a little bit of uh, maybe if they got lard or something to make it non-sticky or mm -hmm. oil Pro whether probably, that's a, seed probably oil. a seed oil seed oil yeah seed oil and uh, he'll get some seed uh, flour of some kind and start getting ready to make some, some pancakes alright who smells the pancakes first? Patches. <laughs> <laughs> now, Patches, uh, she's on like like a corner back, back corner hammock. She has little dainty mouse snores, but she's like sleeping on her stomach, like an arm and a leg hanging off of the hammock and just drooling in her sleep. She wakes up because uh, she smells the pancakes and she's like, Pancakes! Matey! Arg! Hey! <clears throat> I, I like like gets her cloak and just wipes the edges of her mouth. Kind of um, adjusts her earring, grabs her hook and line because she doesn't go anywhere without that, uh, and then sneaks off to the kitchen. <laughs> if you lick that bowl, I'm gonna whack your finger with a spoon. It's only <laughs> if you catch me. <laughs> do we need to do a contested check right now? <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I'm gonna be real snicky and I'm gonna paw on that bowl, it's getting whomped. <laughs> it's either I don't I don't know if it's gonna be a paw on the bowl, but if you already have like a plate of finished pancakes then probably yoink, yoink's one of them. Maybe it's one of those things where like he just put one of the pancakes off and it's on a plate uh -huh. and it's steaming hot. And he oh, and he turns around and looks at, you know, He's, he's back at the stove cooking and more. And the plate's but... empty. Yeah. He comes back. What, we'll what? find out. Oh, okay. Ooh. ooh. I want... I'm going to make this a nature versus scout. So, Patches, you're rolling nature. Okay. And Cookie, you're rolling scout. Rolling scout. Okay. If I remember how to do the dice, I think I did. Uh, slash R, uh, what your scout value is, T brackets dice. Bracket. <laughs> uh, did I have to put anything in the bracket? I apologize. Just dice. 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 Okay, that's right. That's what it was. I was yeah. trying to look real quick on the chat. I was like, I can't get it. Two. Two. There we go. Oh, dang it. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you know that, you know, you're making food and... You can you can hear the slight creak of floating boards. Like it, it's hard to hear over the sound of the like sizzling pancake, but you're just like you just do you, do you act initially or do you wait until she he's, actually he's steals it? Like wise sensei, I'm a baker mouse. I know when somebody's coming in to touch my food, he's gonna be 
quietly doing his thing. And if the moment that paws in the bowl, it's going to be a wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> you get your knuckles racked a little bit. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Abort raid! And I run back outside of the kitchen. We shall pillage another day! <laughs> you and I are running like... <laughs> she, yes, that's how she ran with the bell. She runs like this. Okay, cookies. <laughs> After whomping the paw with the spoon, he's just gonna look at this mouse like, run away like, oh, you silly crazy little mouse. And he's got a jolly smile on his face as he continues to keep making it. But he'll... He'll gingerly call out while she's Naruto running away. <laughs> um, oh, the, the breakfast will be ready shortly. Hold your paws. <laughs> and uh, what what finally gets Chester awake? <laughs> Probably the noise from the kitchen after a while. Uh, well, I Chester... imagine she runs back into the room and maybe like bumps into Chester's hammock. Just boom. <laughs> Probably. And, and Chester's like, he's underneath his blankets, and when, he pop, when his head pops out, his scarf that he normally wears around his neck is actually wrapped around his eyes, because he's a night mouse. He doesn't like mornings, and so that's how he keeps keeps the, the daylight out and sleeps as long as he can. So he's like, oh, oh, I, uh, Patches, what, uh, what are you doing? Well, I tried to pillage some pancakes, but I was spotted, so now I have to parlay. Wise decision. Yes. Wise decision. Mm -hmm. Um, you said pancakes. Yeah, Cookie's making them. Well, what if there are two pirates to take those pancakes? Oh, hey, matey, let's go! <laughs> All right, I'm hungry. So he'll come looking. He's looking for coffee, but pancake. Like, he does not run like that, though. <laughs> He's just strolling in right behind Naruto there. Naruto there, so. <laughs> I think as... Oh. As you guys kind of re return to the kitchen and you're about to like exchange pleasantries, you hear you hear a very strange sound, kind of very faint at first. You just hear a quack. <laughs> Patches. What? What? Is that you? No, I'm waiting for pancakes. Are, are, they, are you guys in the kitchen with me now? Oh yeah. Yeah, you, yes, you guys are all yeah. together. Cookie will kind of be looking around, like, is there a window? Can you, like, look out a window and see if there's anything? Uh, in the kitchen, probably, so in case something catches on fire. All right, well, Cookie's <laughs> going to kind of put down the the platter of the now flattened out dough that he had. He was about to stick it in the oven, but he's going to set it back down on the top, and he's going to, no, don't you dare pass this. <laughs> he's going to, they're not even cooked yet, okay? When he's doing that... Uh, Chester looks at Patches and kind of like just gives her a wink and he puts his arm around Cookie. What do you think that noise was outside, Cookie? And drags him over to the window. Quack. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Cookie's going to be, what? Um, well, actually, would a mouse know the sound of a duck? Yes. Okay. I didn't uh, know how common they would be in this area. It's, um, they're not super common. They're a little more common the further north you go towards the yep. freshwater lake mm. um but they have been known to be domesticated enough to be used as boats okay then the cookie <laughs> will go up towards the window and be with with uh with chester and be like oh i i think that's a boat a duck boat <laughs> <laughs> oh. are you sure was it a goose oh um Go goose say oh, I'm actually not sure. Maybe we should go out and go look at it. Mm -hmm. After breakfast, I'm sure. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, Cookie's going to turn back. I forgot to put these in the... Wait. Patches. <laughs> Patches. They're not even cooked yet. <laughs> What's not even cooked yet? There's nothing here. There are two empty slots on my tray. <laughs> I think I saw you stealing too. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think, though, he would notice the missing lack of symmetry on this platter. <laughs> that is when you hear a bell. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. As someone busts through the front door, you guys are sort of in the back of the mm -hmm. ranger hall, and you hear someone ding, ding, ding. Danger, danger, there's a duck in the fields. 
A duck? A duck? I run towards it! <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's at this point... We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna step back and we're gonna go over our bigs. We're oh. gonna go over our beliefs, instincts, and goals. Okay. Um. So, who would like to start? We're just gonna do all all three of them at the same time. Uh, Not I. I did the first one. Okay. <laughs> okay. My Patches's beliefs are uh, adventure is out there. And her instinct is never run away from an exciting moment. <laughs> Ducks in the fields. Yeah, running towards it. Um, yeah. Goals? Mm. Now, goals can be anything from the mission or just mm -hmm. something you want to do in the session. Uh-huh. So. Hmm. She got a cool pirate story last time and she snooped through the mail. I think this time her goal is... Uh, I think she knows a decent bit about ducks, especially if they're used as boats, because she's from Maple Harbor. Um, she wants to ride the duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a good goal. Yep. <laughs> That's her goal. All right. Moving on. I'm still thinking of the goal, Frank, if you got one. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know that I have the goal yet, as I'm just kind of considering it, but uh, my belief is the best best paths are those we haven't walked yet. Uh, instinct, normally, is I never stray from the trail, but these two are kind of bad at that. Um, <laughs> goal is... Yeah. Oh, this, this is going to be fun. Opposing goal. Goal this time is to help Patches... Uh, become a better ranger. <laughs> he wants okay. to impart some knowledge this time. He's feeling he's feeling like he, he like Cookie knows what he's doing, but I think Patches is still a little bit of a tender paw. You need to work on that. So <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right. What about you, Cookie? Uh, belief: Nobody should ever be hungry. Uh, instinct, I'm going to still hold it as always have to sample new foods and drinks. I may change that one at another point, but for now I'll hold it. I'm going to think about that one a lot. Uh, goal for today. Um, I'm thinking because he's a chubbier, out of shape mouse who is needing to be a ranger. His goal for this episode is to lose like a little bit of weight and increase his cardio. <laughs> More cardio. <laughs> All right. Wait, increase cardio. Increase cardio. That's a good yep. goal. Increase right. cardio. Lose five pounds. Wait, you're a mouse. Yeah. yeah. Lose five grams. Yeah, lose five grams. There you go. Yeah, I can stand to lose five grams. All right. And we're going to cut back into the action of Patches busting out the front door. You've already got your hook in line. Uh-huh. Uh, running and... I would like I would like to remind you the size difference between a <laughs> mouse oh, yeah. and a duck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a duck probably stands not on like like a four five story building to a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> would it would it be fair on early foggy mornings to not hear fog horns but quack 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 in the north probably, <laughs> probably especially in the fall. <laughs> Quacking across the mist. It's like the foghorns. <laughs> and yes, so you you you've gone charging at this duck. Yeah. Um, what's your intention? <laughs> <laughs> well, first I want to know what this duck. I want to see how this duck's doing. How this duck's feeling. I'm boat wise, so if ducks are so, used as boats. I probably would know a little something about ducks. Uh, a little bit. Um, you know that they are often domesticated and used as boats. This mm -hmm. one does not appear to have the sort of harness. Mm. So it's probably a wild duck. And um, you know what it's, all it's doing is it's standing currently in the field, just like bending down, eating some seeds, uh -huh. raising back up. Quack. All right. I'm going to try to domesticate this duck. <laughs> You're going to try to train a wild duck. Yep. All right. I want to ride so it. So we're, 
<coughs> and I can only ride it if I train it. Well, that's not true, but it'd be easier to ride it if I trained it. Just that's... gotta pounce on it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to think what said. skill this would be. <laughs> um, you know what? Okay, I think I know I'm gonna do this. Uh, go ahead. And what skills do you have? I have fighter, hunter, laborer, wild one, weaver, harvester, boat crafter, manipulator. Okay, we're going to say you're going to roll boat. Okay. Because this is how you make boats sometimes. Is you is. take a duck <laughs> and you train it. You do. It's part of, it's I'm just, it's part of boat crafting. Sure. Um, however, it is an adult duck. Okay. It is a wild duck. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a task difficulty four. Uh huh. Okay. To even get it to like to get the start starting of it done. Sure. Um. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I, I will note there are a, a couple couple new things because we have more persona points this mm -hmm. session. Um, there are multiple ways to roll per use persona. Persona can be used to add an additional dice to your uh, your dice pool mm -hmm. for one skill check. You can spend up to three that way. Okay. You can also use it to activate a wise and go, of course, uh -huh. <laughs> to reroll all failures. Okay. Um, and you can also use it to do something called taxing your nature. <laughs> when you tax your nature, you... Spend a persona point and add your nature score to your dice roll. Oh. However, mm -hmm. if it's against your nature and your nature as a mouse involves running, hiding, and uh, that sort of thing. <laughs> if it's against that, if you succeed, you lose one point of nature. Oh. It's been taxed. So if you're, if you're at four, it... Uh, yeah, three or time four. becomes three. Yeah. Um, if that value ever goes to zero, your max you go back to your maximum, and your maximum is dropped by one. Okay. If you fail the check, your nature is taxed by the amount you missed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. So it's it's a bit risky, but it's an option. And I'd like to give that to you. Yeah, I have a lot of nature, and not a lot of boat crafting. She really two, wants to ride this boat, this this duck. So I'm going to use my boat crafter. Wait, here's the question: uh -huh. Is the duck on the water or is it in land? You said it's in land in the field. <laughs> yes. It's it's currently in a field trying nope. to munch on some seeds. Okay. Some grains. I, that, they, that the mice are high. Um, How, I mean, okay, for those of us who aren't running out to get ourselves killed by a duck, <laughs> yeah. Um, how dangerous is a situation like this? <laughs> I, mean, we, I mean, we would know this. Um, uh, ducks don't eat mice. Okay. But they so, accidentally step on them occasionally. They destroy uh, our crops. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's less of an issue of getting harmed by the duck on purpose mm -hmm. and more you doing something and getting yourself hurt because you're trying to climb on something about five stories tall. Right, okay. <laughs> that All is right. animate. <laughs> okay. So, Can... so the uh, so the alarm is more just warning, watch out for duck. Yeah, ducks aren't actively dangerous, but they are eating your foods, eating the mice food supply. Okay, all right. Can Cookie and uh, Chester, I'm sure, go out and follow Patches to an extent and see what the heck is going on? I'm sure I, she's... I see you guys... I assume you guys, you know, came out after you've gathered maybe some of your gear. Yeah, we, we, we brought breakfast but, with us. We're, we're eating Patch, as we watch Patches head that way. Patches was ready to go. Patches yeah. already had her hook and line. <laughs> I, was out the I so, had to grab my bow. I had to grab breakfast. You know, Cookie and I had to chat for a second, have some coffee. And, you know, we're, we're making our way there. The other thing to remind you, Lindy. Yes. Is you can also earn a check here by giving yourself one less dice. Could. So if you think you're gonna fail, <laughs> you can you could you could earn that check. Can earn that check. Hmm. How bad do I want to ride this duck? 
It is your goal. <laughs> it is my goal. Mostly because I heard Duck in a in boat and I was like, gotta write it. Um, Patches is very short term mindset. <laughs> Bless her. Um, I do have duck ride duck. four nature, but we were rolling really awful last week. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think I think she really wants to try to tame this duck. All right. So I'm gonna roll my boat crafter, which is two, and then I wanna I wanna use a persona point to get to add to nature. This is bad. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're up to six. six. Yeah. And can I use my uh, a wise or a trait? You can use a trait. Why is this are only for re-rolling dice? Okay, okay, so gotcha. If, if one of them applies, mm -hmm. you can spend fate to re-roll one, or you can spend persona to re-roll all of failures. Okay. So, I'd say that since ducks aren't terribly scary, fearless isn't really going to apply here. However, <laughs> she is... Oh, <laughs> yes? You, I will always, if you're like... This is sort of a fearless thing. You're running at something five times. Okay, you know. yeah, sure. Not even five times. It's so much taller than you. Then yeah, let's use fearless. Because, <laughs> bless her. Um, so you're up to seven. Seven. And you need four. I do. All right. It's almost 50-50. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to try for it. Unless, I don't think... Either of you guys want to help me with this? <laughs> I don't think they can. They're not yeah. in a position to help. All right, let's let's do this. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Come here, Duck. Explain. I want I want you to explain a little bit about how this works. <laughs> All right. So, ducks. When you want to train a duck to be a boat. <laughs> There's some things that you gotta do. And I'm talking about this while I do this, because Patches feels like the other, that, you know, maybe she can impress her other two fellow rangers as boats are her, are her specialty. And so she's like, alright, so, first, and she pulls out her little hook and line. You wanna, you wanna get the duck's attention. She waves it a lot and gets the duck's attention. She says, then... You want to make sure it's happy, and that it associates you with good things. And so she'll, like, pull up some seeds out of the dirt and, like, present them to the duck. And then when the duck goes to eat it, she kind of, like, head it on, like, above the beak a little bit. And then, when its defenses are lowered, she hops on and slides down its neck onto its back. And then loops her little hook around and grabs it, like, like a little reins around the duck's neck. <laughs> then... You gotta get it used to your weight on the back of it as it just goes around and does its duck thing and that's when you can create a harness for it and you can and it's a boat and i'm sitting on the back of the duck and there because it's the morning light there's actually like the sun rays coming through the duck and you're getting those like god ray effects uh -huh. just, just <laughs> standing on the back of this duck and just rays oh. yeah Watching um, this slow motion lassoing and hopping on at the duck, we're just like, whoa. Yeah, like first <laughs> and then, thing in the morning. <laughs> and th this duck just kind of like cranes its head to look at you and goes, quack. Quack. But actually, me, um. <laughs> quack, quack. I, I imagine okay. Chester and Cookie are just like, you don't really think she's about to. Oh my. She's, she's doing it. <laughs> I. Um, Patches, maybe you shouldn't, um. Oh, wait. Oh, not. Oh, wow. That's... Is that how that's done? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Patches, uh, maybe you should get down off of. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I've tamed a duck. We got to give him the name now. Uh, pa Patches, wh what happens next? <laughs> well, we can go boating now. Well, first, I got to weave a harness. Patches, you could break your neck from there. You you need to hop off that duck. I've got to hold on some feathers and my little and my hook and line. I'm fine. Um <laughs> I didn't okay, think well, that was um, going to work at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to throw a twist in there. <laughs> you, um 
Um, are are, are no. ducks just ducks? Are they somewhat sentient in this universe? Can they? No, they're ducks. They're ducks. <laughs> they're ducks. Okay. Um, patches. Um, since you're on it, um, are, can you guide guide it a little bit? Can you maybe out of the field a little bit and away All from right. the town? Come on, boat. Let's go. And I'm gonna try to like, <laughs> like. Nudge it in the right, like towards them. <laughs> okay, yeah! Uh, uh, come on, Chester. Maybe we should, you know. <laughs> I, mean, <maybe> like, <laughs> we, I have a question. Do you give it a yaw? Uh, just a little one. We're not quite on water. Like, it's like no. a duck out of water. It's not as good as a duck out of water. <laughs> you, you still kind of give it like a, a snap, and it kind of like spooks a little bit. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's and actually like C cookie ducks and covers. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> do you decide to hold on or do you let go? I'm holding on. Ducky's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you watch as the town just disappears behind you. Ooh. Whoa! As you just. I'm you never see, finding see, my way back, guys. I get lost. You see Cookie's mouse butt in the air and his, like, aprons flopped over his head because he was ducking and covering, you know, in the field as he flapped the wings and they're gone. Chester's <laughs> just waving. <laughs> Did you never saw Patches again? <laughs> uh, Cookie, Cookie finally gets up. Uh, Chester, um, what do we do? Um... I've never had a match fly off before. I, I, I've made a note of where she's fly direction she's flying. Um, well, good lord, we need to raise the rest of the rangers. We need to go get her. She's going to die. No, she's she's ours. It's our responsibility. Come on, Cookie. Oh, let's, let's start trudging in the direction we last saw her. Oh, all right. Um... <laughs> this is not how I saw this going. <laughs> no. Hi. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Um, Shame on you, Patches. <laughs> let's see. Um, I need. I want to be sorry, but I'm laughing too hard at the same time. <laughs> like it's it's hard to it's hard to keep track of a duck, except for the fact that every once in a while you can hear it go quack. Uh huh. Have so, an initial direction. Yes. So uh, I'm and then, and it's sound. <laughs> I want to say this is a scout three because you guys are actually going off the trail. <gasps> So do we both have to roll this, or...? No, but one can help the other. Well, if if you want to do the initial, Chester, you uh, can. Being how is member. your scout? Uh, am I allowed to develop on a scale of one to... <laughs> no, no. Yeah. This game is very much about the meta. You want okay. to uh, utilize perfect. the best, always. My scout is a three. Okay, that's better than my scout. Okay. Then Cookie will try to use his knowledge of uh, not necessarily tracking because this is aerial, but general direction of travel, general knowledge of the landscape of what towns are in the direction of travel, and if maybe by chance, you know, if I was a duck, I'd probably go towards water. So he's probably headed towards water. And does that line up with the direction of travel and what towns are out that way? And oh god, I hope we can find him in the wilderness out there. Uh, but you know. presumably. I mean, if you want to look at the map. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you guys were in Thistledown. Yep. It's heading towards Dawn Rock. Towards Dawn Rock. But kind okay. of in, but not in like on the road path, but like in that general direction. In that direction. Okay, then um, Mr. Cookie is going to use his understanding of duck uh, determination to get near water to try and see if they can head the right way and head towards where the duck was last seen going. All right. Um, this could take you about a day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> if, it, if it gets as far as to the coast, that's a day's travel on the road. Or as, as I've been calling it, a scamper. Quackers and I are gonna get to know each other real well. <laughs> you guys are flying there in like half a day. You're fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so what what would you like me to roll then? Chester, are you helping? Oh yeah. How are you helping? <laughs> um, I I can use um, 
You know what? Because we kind of need to, to find right. Could I, could I use a trait on this one to help? You can't use a trait to help. You could use a wise or one okay. of your skills. All right. So um, I guess I'd, I'd, I'd have to use Pathfinder because he shows me the direction. I'll use Pathfinder to find the best way through to get where the direction he's pointing. Got it. Um, so, yeah. And then Cookie, you can either use traits for yourself or against yourself to gain checks. Um, I was looking at it for it. I was going to say, I don't know if my weather sense would necessarily help with that. Not especially. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to do have to do a straight roll. Okay. So you're at four dice and you need a three. Come on, Cookie. Oh, no. I rolled a two. You rolled a two. You're getting your cardio today. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat's dripping out from under the hat. <laughs> is it a is it a nice balmy warm summer day? Hot summer you, day. It's still in the morning, but I mean, you are going to be traveling for. I'm actually going to say like a couple hours. Ooh. Um. <sighs> meanwhile, <laughs> I didn't think any of this is going to work. <laughs> any of us did uh, oh okay <laughs> did you name the duck his name is quackers quackers okay because so he says his name a lot like a pokemon you and quackers are currently yep. in a small clearing quackers likes crackers okay you don't have any on you no i don't um maybe cookie will find some are you still on its back or are you like looking at it right at this very moment uh, i think if, as- if quackers would have stopped I will have um, gotten my hook and line and kind of like put like a leash, like hook the, the, the line and whoop, slide down. Yeah. And like, like I've got a little lead on the duck and I'll be looking at it like, all right, quackers, I don't know where we are or how to get back, but we're Quack. in this together. That's right. All right. Clearing. <laughs> mm. Quack? I know. I don't know where we are. You're the one who took us here. Its eyes get kind of wide for a second uh-huh. as it looks behind you. Quack! I look behind me. And just behind you. Uh oh. <laughs> me, let me look at the uh, the monster manual. It's the real zombie quick. squirrel. No, it was zombie squirrels. Okay. Not today. Not today. Not today. It's session two. <laughs> it's for session three or four. Yeah. Where? Where is? Oh, gosh. This book, I know I mentioned this last time, this book's not laid out very well. No. <laughs> I can never find anything in it. Um, you hear a... Robert. I slowly turn around and I look to see if it's Tad. Oh, I forgot about Tad! <laughs> It's totally Tad! Oh no, it's my enemy! <laughs> um, he was my pet when he was a tadpole, then he grew up and tried to eat me. <laughs> so, you actually, you, you realize, because you're looking behind you, There, this is actually, like, there's a small pond here. Okay. Oh, that makes um, sense. Quackers likes water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And this and this toad has, not toad, frog. It's a frog, mm-hmm. right? Uh, yeah, Kinda, it's frog. Yeah, standing. You you can see it in the grass, kind of like in the shadows. You can uh-huh. see that one eye just staring at you. Oh, this is awkward. Ha! Hi, Tad. This is Quackers. Quackers. This is Tad, and I'm kind of backing up a little bit towards Quackers. Quack. Yeah, I know. Like we knew each other when he was really little, and then he grew up and tried to eat me. Robert. Yeah. Barely still remembers. Kind of takes takes a little leap towards you. Oh, oh, whoop! Little jump back. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, I'm just gonna get back on this boat here and I climb back up onto Quackers. <laughs> All right. So this is a twist. <laughs> um, Cookie and Chester. At this point, you guys actually. So here's the pond. There's a small <laughs> hill here. 
You guys are at the top of the hill. Honestly, <laughs> I can see this. <laughs> Patches is at the bottom of the hill, trying to climb up a tiny little rope that's on the hook and line and just slipping. Because yeah. the, the line's wet. Yeah. Um, Cookie's going to be like, Oh, it's, 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 it's Patch, Patches, hang on, hang on. And, and you um, see a frog leap out of the bushes. Oh, 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 oh. And, and Cookie's, Cookie's going to start scrambling like, No, 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 no. And he's, he's going to start running towards uh, Patches. I don't know how far away we are, but going to try as best as he can. I mean, he's going to move it, like even – even if he's going to be out of breath and he's, he's getting that cardio in, man, he's going to move it. <laughs> <laughs> so on a scale of, of, uh, of like one to deadly, what are frogs to mice? Uh, they eat them. Okay. <laughs> Relatively easily or. Um, well, okay. So they can, this is a big frog. Okay. Um, it, it was could... a runty tadpole though. Let me tell you. It could. It probably couldn't get you in one bite, okay. so it'd be a bit painful. Wonderful. Yeah, Wonderful. it's not great. They're big. <laughs> this frog is at least, I guess, in like if you want to think like D and D terms, it's probably like an ogre. Okay. <laughs> so from the top of the hill, if if I were to start like lobbing arrows from my bow at it to try and dissuade it. Um, would I think, would I consider that effective? Uh, oh yeah. Arrows are good against most things. Okay. All right. Well then it is, as cookie is bounding down the hill, I'm probably going to pull out my bow from the top of the hill where it's nice and safe where a smart <laughs> old fur would be. Yeah. Um, and start cookie. lobbing arrows. Cookie's probably more like bouldering, like run, run, run. Oh, off balance trip. Tumble, tumble, tumble. <laughs> Do a little roll. <laughs> <running trip>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, his, his staff going flying and having to go grab it and then running back down adjusting his hat, sweat pouring down his... Or no, they don't sweat, that's right, but I'd imagine sweat Panting. pouring. <laughs> Panting. <laughs> All right. So, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to start a conflict. Awesome. So, what is your goal in this conflict? Is it to get away? Is it to defeat the frog and make it go away? What is What is the plan? Um, I think initial plan is patches. to protect patches. Uh, okay, so so patches, what is your plan then? Are right. you trying to get away or are you trying to fight? Well, I was trying to get away, but if I see Cookie and Chester here, my resolve strengthens a little bit because I'm fearless. And Todd tried to eat me once. I was too weak because I was only five to stop him then. But now... Now, retaliatory mouse. It's been ten years. It's been ten years. Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ted. You're not gonna. Eat, you couldn't eat me then, and you're not gonna eat me now. <laughs> uh, get up! Get up! Get <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so it sounds like we're doing a fight. So, let's. We're, we're gonna do everything as per normal. We probably shouldn't and... try to get away, but dang it, Tad! <laughs> had to be Tad. It had to be Tad. So it sounds like He's my enemy. Patches, Patches is leading this fight. All right. Yes. Um. So you guys are doing a fight animal, which means you can roll either fighter or hunter, Ooh. and add that to your health or nature. I am starting disposition. a specialty hunter, and my hunter is four. Nice. So you get to roll four and add that to either your nature or your health, whichever is higher. My health is higher. My health is five. So uh, roll nine total. Five plus four. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. You don't. You don't add that to your dice pool. You're going to add that as a constant modifier. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Not permanent. It's just for that fight, right? Right. Gosh, I'm not rolling well these disposition checks. Alright, um, 20. What are you doing? I keep getting this little ping. Ping. Alright, I can do it in here. That's fine. Oh, no. Uh, stupid roll 20. Go away. Alright. Sorry. So. And 
Just to clarify, when she's adding this, this is for her or for all of us? This is your team's disposition. So you team. actually, I forgot, uh, since you're getting help, you get to add two more dice. Okay. So I want to roll Hunter or Health? Which one? Hunter. Hunter, okay. And you're going to add Health. Okay. So, and I get to add two more dice to that? Yes. So six dice, and then uh, my health is five. Okay, so. Oh! So you're at six. six. Okay. I, I'm at seven. Okay. Now we need to write goals. All right. Um, Tad's goal is to take what was taken from him. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> what is your goal? Leave me alone, Tad! You're, try you're trying to fight. You're not trying to kill Tad. You're trying to fight Tad off. Yeah, like okay. beat him up badly enough so he doesn't bug me ever again. Okay. Yes. Uh, I should mention it's actually very hard to kill things yeah. in Mouse Guard. Um, just... Not only do you have to do a fight conflict, but you have to do a fight conflict in which you lose no disposition. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Otherwise, they get. They can. Um, that that can be their. What you call it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just wants to to get him whooped enough so that way he doesn't mess with her anymore. So I want right. seven little red dots, right? One, two, three, four. Five. You, should, you should be at. You have four health or five health. Five health. So you six, should be at six. Six. That's right. You are at seven. Oop. Yeah. All right. Yep. There we go. Cool. And, uh, I'm going to mention, you can use Mr. Crackers <gasps> at, in points of, like, storytelling in these actions, yes. if you need, if need be. Awesome. Come on, Mr. Crackers. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we're going to do the thing where we, I'm going to pick three cards. Eat them, Mr. Quackers. And hide them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I get to be team leader. All right, so we want to do, we have attack, defend, feint, and maneuver. I think. All right, I have decided my cards. Okay. She's like, all right, guys, this is my sworn rival and enemy, Tad. I knew what money was this big. And, <laughs> and then he tried to eat me. So. I don't hold out much hope for the doctor. <laughs> um, I think mm, attack, defend, faint, maneuver. Maybe we should. Hunt. Yeah. And my, my fighter and hunter are both. Oh, that's right. It depends on that too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. okay. So this is a fight animal. So you could do attack is fighter or hunter. Defend mm -hmm. is yep. lore or nature. Faint is fighter or hunter. Maneuver is lore or nature. Yeah. Um, I'm strong on fighter. I'm strong on nature. I'm strong um, on hunter. In nature, but pretty weak. So on I could, I, yeah, I could run either or. Okay. I think, I think Patches is going to attack. Okay. Attack, attack. Um, do you want me then to do a defend? Maybe to. Yeah, you can do a defend. Block his attack on you. Yeah. Type deal. And then, what do you want to do, Chester? Are you I'm, good at fainting or maneuvering? I, I'm not really great at any of those. It's all threes or twos. <laughs> three's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, three's, three's what four I Four is my highest, yeah. I, I, mean, I should mention, this is an actual fight, mm -hmm. so your weapon bonuses apply. Oh! oh okay. Touche. I have a hook and line. I gotta pull up the sheet again on the weapon bonus. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah I don't. I have to look yeah. at that. I don't know what that means. Do, 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 do. So, uh, I believe like okay. hook and line's not super great at attack. Oh, it's not. Okay. But you also have a duck. I do. So you hey, can the can the duck count as a weapon? Because ducks eat frogs. So you know. That's that's what I'm saying. Is you can use the duck to do stuff. Okay. And that will. Ooh. We'll talk um. About what happens. I, I get a plus one to faint with my staff. 
So, do you want me to do a faint then to just get the extra perk? I mean, yeah, you could faint if you you could faint if you want to. Okay, throw uh, throw me in on as a faint. That'd be All a right. good last last ditch Boop. effort. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And then I believe bows are very good at maneuvers as well. Yeah, two dice towards maneuver, is what it says. Um. So yeah, we could uh, we could do a maneuver in there to try and yeah. get you out of the line of. Um, Sure. So, Attack, okay. maneuver, faint. That sounds pretty good. Do you want to do it in that order, or do we want to rearrange the order? Oh, it? yeah, we could rearrange. Maybe we should maneuver first to get a better position. And okay. Then... That sounds good. Boop. Okay. Maneuver, Boop. attack, faint. Yeah. yeah. That looks like a good lineup. All right. Go, little right. mousies. Um, do, you you throw, do you throw in the duck on there, or how do we control the duck? So the duck is going to act as a tool. Okay. So when you have a tool appropriate to the situation, you get to add an additional dice. Nice. Just imagine them go like, sick of Benji, you know, to the duck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. First things first, maneuver, maneuver. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Uh oh. All right. So this is an independent test. So whatever okay. we do, it's going to apply for both of us. Now, I'm going to remind you that conflicts are a great place to get more checks by making yourself worse. Letting you know. Good, it's a good point, but it also means patches gets, you know, munched on. So it's kind of a, ba it's a, it's, it's a give or take there a little bit. I, yeah. I don't, um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to roll nature. Beat it. Um, Beat it. And so I get two dice for, um, for using a bow, mm -hmm. and nature is three, so that's five. Um, and you have friends in this conflict, so you get an additional two. Okay. Oh, you, guys are, you guys are working together at this point. So we always get the bonus for the friends. Okay. Basically, in a conflict, typically, if you're all in it, you're yeah. all helping. Unless, I mean, unless someone does so something the bigger the okay. bigger the party, the better you, you could be theoretically in this game. Yeah, a party of six mice. Yep. That's that's why I prefer to keep it down to three. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I'm seeing. I'm seeing now. I'm getting. It. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to use long tail against me to take the dice down to six. That uh, probably I'm going to end up stepping on it as I'm trying to shoot the bow because I haven't really been practicing as much as I probably should have. Mm -hmm. Stepped on my own tail and and made it a more difficult shot than it needed to be. All right, and it's uh, it's kind of doing it's not going straight for patches. It's actually doing like a zigzag. So as you're mm -hmm. shooting it, it's kind of like weaving through your arrows. Right, and I'm trying to keep up with it. And that's when I step on my tail and it just all goes to hell from there. All right, uh, so that's six dice. Uh, what you, you you didn't do a square oh, bracket? Oh, the bracket. Thing. Yeah, I hit the wrong. There we go. I was gonna say a six. Yeah. Oh, a three. A um, three. So, on a three, you get to make one of two choices. Okay. You can either uh, give your the next person's action, I believe, a plus one and a minus two to your opponent. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Or you can break a piece of their equipment, which the frog does have a piece of equipment. <gasps> you can disarm it. Um, the piece of equipment it has is actually, it's got this really gross secretion on it. Ooh. Okay. Um, and you might be able to plug it up with one of your arrows. Okay. Now, since I have axes and uh, having it, if getting more like, okay. You only ever need you on a maneuver. You can't do any better than three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just make. Otherwise, sure. yes, you could ex you could use a fate to explode both axes. Okay. Um. Yeah. What do you guys think would be better? You want to Ooh. bad bad roll or plug up the secretions? That sounds so weird. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. We're attacking next. I'm I'm thinking plug up the secretion. Yeah, we don't know what that secretion does. Yeah, it could gonna, be something real nasty. I'm thinking it's going to attack next, so it's probably good to stop it. Okay, we'll plug the secretion. Okay, oh, plug, uh, plug it the messed secretion up its... makes it 
it, the secretion was giving it a plus one to defense, maneuvers, oh. and feints. Cool. So you, you did like a permanent debuff, basically. Nice. Okay. Nice. Um, it does, however, gain position because it's an independent test and they got a mm -hmm. two. So they're going to get plus two on their next die roll. Uh -oh. Okay. Which is also an attack. Oh, oh we, no! We, we keep doing that. that! We keep doing that! I knew it was going to be an attack. I knew it. All right. So, I get seven dice here. Okay. Um, do you want to use any traits for or against yourself? Hmm. Um, I'm going to use... Uh... Young, real resilient, I'm peppy, I'm sprightly. I'm I'm ready to fight this frog. My first rival. Excited. I'm gonna use that for myself. Okay. Do 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 do. Alright, and so I'm gonna be rolling uh fighter or hunter? Either. Either I'll use hunter. Um so, it's four dice, and then two because I got help from people, and then a trait. So, seven. And because you're using ice, <gasps> are you using the duck as a weapon? Yes. Or are you using your hook and line? Oh, uh, let's use, let's use quackers. Quackers has got a big beak. Quackers, eat and ducks think frogs are tasty. I need you to tell me how you use quackers as a weapon. <laughs> Alright. So, I've got, like, him on a little lead here. I still have a seed in my hand. From from like taming him originally, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it at the frog and be like, get it, Quackers! <laughs> Quackers <laughs> is gonna be like, Kuk, <laughs> try to peck him because <laughs> the seed's stuck to him. All right, <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll your dice. Do I get a plus one for Quackers? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Ooh, I got a five. Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's see. I got a four. You got a four. Um, so what happens is I think you throw the seed, it hits Tad right in the face. Uh-huh. And then he tackles you. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. And just as he's, like, about to, like, bite down, uh -huh. Quackers pecks at him and flips him off. Okay. Flips him off. He's like, Phew. Get him, Quackers. Good job, Quackers. <laughs> and... I'm because I know what the next action is here, so we both reduce our health. Okay. I'm down to three. And I'm I lose five, right? Yeah. Okay. Down to uh, one. <laughs> Quackers is throwing uh Tad directly into Cookie. Oh no! Oh no. no. I was trying to defend, and you made a feint. Okay. Which means I don't get to roll anything. <gasps> oh. What? This is a free attack. This is why feints are good. This is best case scenario for a feint. Perfect. God, we swapped that feint. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can just start tallying up my rolls and then go from there, right? Correct. So, all right, I have three for my uh, fighter. Mm -hmm. Plus one for the staff, so that's four. Two yep. friends helping me, that's six. Um, I mean, if I wanted to, I could use against myself my my chubby mouse trait <laughs> to where he's a little portly and hard to get out of the way, so we kind of roll the poly tumble out of the way. <laughs> 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 Does that add an, add to the dice roll, or is that a negative? If you're using it against yourself, it subtracts. Yeah. Okay. Um... I mean, I'd like to just to do that if you guys are cool with that. Okay. Get some um, so let's see, three. I said six, right? So I'm down to five. Mm -hmm. okay. Making sure I did the math right. You can roll three here. You win the conflict. Come on, get him, chubby moose. Roll five. He dies. Okay. No! You could explode. Oh, you could try to explode I could the blow it up. I want to try that. I've never done that. All right. So, so you're gonna spend a fate. Okay, a fate deducting and then i just roll one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i haven't done that yet okay oh. no no <laughs> cookie why 
Oh man. All right. Both down to we're, one. We're we're in crunch time. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Cookie, you chubby baker's mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, you kind of like, who? And I imagine you like, just smack him as he's flying towards you, <laughs> like a baseball. <laughs> um, and he just kind of goes spiraling out and back into the bushes, and <laughs> he kind of like, <clears throat> kind of crawls back out. And, uh, Bad Ted. <laughs> we're gonna start round two. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a mistake. Don't do it. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. Oh man. Alright, let me let me get some cards. Oh, what so are we, we gonna, gonna rechoose our order now? Yeah. Yes. It's de- it's one versus one. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I know. I'd say I'd say defend first. Oh, I don't I'm know. Back, or it could be a faint. Um too many choices. I know. Um Honestly, I'm thinking a defend first. A defend if you uh, get it. What is it? If you get three or more, you start healing. Oh. If if they don't hurt you. Maybe want to be good to try you. for that. Um, I'm or thinking just open I'm up with an attack. Yeah. Either the frog's either gonna maneuver and then attack, or it would be like in a straight up attack. Or I mean, that's how my brain works. Is I try to think what are they gonna do to try and yeah. counter. Um, but. Ethan could do whatever he wants, so... I chose first. Yeah. Okay. I've already chosen. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't okay. get to react to you. Mm-hmm. So I say... <laughs> Preemptive attack. I think an attack might be good to open with, because it's one versus one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go Just with it. Do it. I'll go with it, but... I still think defend. Do we get to attack. rearrange our order at all, or just the... We can, yes. Yeah, we can? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, right. Like attack, defend, maneuver, maybe? Yeah. Or attack, Sounds defend, good. faint. Yeah, I'm thinking attack, defend. All right. uh, I'll do another faint Ooh. if you want. Okay. Attack. Uh, defend. Right. I don't get a bonus with uh, my bow for defending, but I can defend. Unless Cookie wants to defend and you want to faint. You wanna, do you want to... Don't you get a bonus for maneuver? I do get a bonus to maneuvering. Okay. Well, I'm almost wondering, maneuver is almost like a defensive thing. Uh, it acts a little bit like a defense in terms of uh, interactions. Yeah. Because against an attack or a feint, it's a versus test. Mm-hmm. You could do another maneuver. Okay. If you guys want me to do that, get, that's fine. If you get the bonus to right. it, I think it'd be worth the okay. shot. Let's try. Let's try this. Attack, maneuver, defend. I could do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't get the bonus for it, but it, it's still good enough, I think. Or good. So I have okay. still a three. Let's, let's try it. Good? Yep, good. Let's right. try it. It's taking a breather. Oh! 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 It's defending. So, yep, it's defending. Um, it's not as good as it would be normally because you took we, out its... We plugged its secretion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you can How do totally cool. Huh, huh, All right. Huh. So, Hunter, two friends, and then uh, Quackers. Okay, seven. You can do it. You make him All Quackers right. bite him. Yeah, All right. give him Quackers. I got three. All right. Throwing a lot of axes. I know yeah. that. Why? How are you? Why are you getting all the axes? <laughs> um, Four. You, that is the minimum required Whew. to do it. So. <sighs> yeah. You, <laughs> you nip at him. <laughs> yep. Um. What what is the precise thing that makes it so that he never wants to mess with you again? I, you say something. Is there a specific like action? I think Quackers is gonna nip him on the butt. <laughs> um, because whenever he was a little tadpole and he got a little nibbly, I'd give him a little little smack on a little tail fin. A book, 
And so, as, as Quackers gives him a little, little nip, I'm gonna be like, I never want to see you again, Ted! You tried to eat me and you broke my heart! Oh. And now you can see that you can't eat me now, because I've grown up too! So let's just agree to never see each other again! <laughs> that cries a, a single froggy tear, except you <laughs> both Asian, so it can't. <laughs> 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 and he gives you that, like, and then kind of hops back into the pond, gives you one final, like, right before it gets to the edge, turns back, gives you one final, Ruby. Um, Cross my arms. However, because. <laughs> that was really close. What is the word I'm thinking of? Why can't I remember this word? I'm Consequences? Uh. Compromise. Compromise. That's what it is. Uh, there is a compromise because you guys got down to one. Yeah. There's a major close. compromise. Um, and I'm going to give you a hard choice. Oh. Do you want a bunch of conditions, but you get to keep quackers? Or do you lose quackers? <gasps> I love quackers. <laughs> what are a bunch of conditions? <laughs> I'm going to give each of you a very nasty condition. Okay. Um, Chester says the duck was the cause of the problem. Get the duck out of here. <gasps> Cook Cookie agrees. The duck needs to go. But I love him. <laughs> now, Patches... It was good that you frog gave that frog. It was a wonderful thing. <laughs> no, th sorry, this is an out of out of game question. Oh, okay. okay. This, this, is, this is this is a narrative question. Oh, okay. Um, because if you guys decide to take the conditions, obviously Quacker stays with you. If you decide to give up Quackers, Quackers is gonna go chase after the frog. Oh, did he? Oh. oh. <laughs> I, personally, I like this plan. This is great. But... <laughs> well, I think I like I like. It's a, obviously, we gotta go with majority. But Patches really wants to keep Quackers. She looked really impressive taming it, and she thinks it could be with a little bit more training. Quackers could be a valuable member of the Rangers. <laughs> All right. So I think what happens is Quackers motions to go mm -hmm. like it's gonna go chase after that frog and you're holding on to the line still uh -huh. and it starts dragging you along uh-huh and then both Co or cookie has to like grab you <laughs> before you're taken off again <laughs> <laughs> yep i like it i like it um and just at that same moment like there's enough there's enough tug that the hook and line snaps off and oh. comes comes tinkling down Crackers. Goodbye, Quackers. Quackers. Quack, quack. Are we able to interact <laughs> a little bit? Yeah, no, no. This, this, okay, did cookie, cookie would... We are now entering the prayer phase. Oh, <laughs> Better. <laughs> cookie be like, Patches, are you okay? Quackers, come back! <laughs> No, 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 no. He's, he's gonna be like holding on to patches. It's okay. That that frog would have eaten you. Are you mad? He tried to eat me once before. Once before? Yeah, that was Tad. You see, Tad. I had a pet tadpole. Mom and Dad said not to, but I did it anyways. And then he grew up and he tried to eat me. That's why you can't have pet tadpoles. Well, I learned you that, mouse. but. I, quackers landed here because there was a pond and then Tad came out and he tried to eat me again. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad we found you. You could have been you could have been a dead mouse. <laughs> Sorry. Just not that yeah, there, there is a pun there in that one. <laughs> <laughs> um You you could have been a dead mouse and <sighs> just <laughs> Don't hop on any other ducks that we see, okay? You've, oh, you're but fun. I had quackers I'm, eating out of the palm of my paws. I'm I'm very impressed, Bexy. Very, very impressed with your deck handling skills. But please, please don't, don't do that again. We can't bear to see you fly off, and then, Lord knows if we've never seen you again. I was gonna bet quackers be a ranger. 
<sighs> well, probably would have been good to have the rangers have a duck for transport. You're right, but <sighs> ducks are great boats. Don't don't do anything so rash again, please. You're a young mouse with your whole life ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving assassin, but he's also trying to be nice and, and hug him and be like, you're, you're okay, Patches. Like, you're all right in my book, too. If we Just ever see Gladys again, we're not letting him go. <sighs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Come on, okay. Patches. Let's go up to Chester up there. He was. Goodbye, Quackers. Hopefully, I'll <laughs> see you again one night. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hint. Quack. Quack. <laughs> okay, I think I think Quackers is gonna go eat Tad now. Probably for the better. Such such is nature. <laughs> um, Cookie's gonna just kind of guide you up to uh, to Chester and uh, get the party together <laughs> and think that we should. It was pretty what cool time? though. I've never what flown time? before. But that was amazing view. Yeah, it's we nice aren't meant to fly. We shouldn't yeah. do that again. Let's if we were meant to fly, we'd have wings. And we'd beat birds. Um, it's can't. about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock p.m.? A.m. Okay. You guys woke up at dawn. It was the first Perfect. thing in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's see. And we are, are we just outside of that other town? Or are we in between the two? Mm, so you're only a couple hours. Like, you guys only were running for, like, an hour, maybe? So, um, you're about an hour out of Thistledown. I guess we should head back. And then we can get lunch? Ooh. I... <laughs> Say no more. Let's go. I think I've lost probably three kilos on that one. Or three grams, not kilos. <laughs> <laughs> three. <laughs> three kilos. Hey. I am now negative mouse. <laughs> I'm negative. I'm the lightest mouse ever. <laughs> He's like floating. <laughs> um... Uh, no, I think I've lost three grams on that one. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Poke him. I don't think he did. <laughs> like, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> so, Patches. Yeah? <clears throat> did you puts see his me? arm around you, kind of like a companion, like, what did we learn? That ducks are cool and frogs aren't? You know how many times you could have died just now, right? <laughs> no. I know, I know there's no fear in you. Nope. And I, I remember a time back in my youth when I wasn't as all that, uh, you know, d d empty trails didn't scare me. But if you had fallen off the back of that duck. Oh. Yeah, it would have yeah. been a long way to fall. I had a hooky line, though. I would have I snagged something. <laughs> Maybe. All right, all right. Uh, don't be so... You, next time, all right? It's... That was pretty awesome, though. I mean... It's a great, it's a great story to tell, but uh, look how upset Cookie is. Upset it's not just you you have to worry about, it's your friends. <sighs> and a <the> dog. <laughs> <laughs> it happens sometimes. <laughs> Cookie is pretty upset, but I'm upset too. I guess we're just all upset. That's not good. I'm not upset with you. Oh. It was an exciting morning. I got to blaze a new trail. I mean, it didn't go anywhere, but it was fun. It led to this cool pond. For now. It has angry frogs in it. We can't well, go there. Not when Quackers is done with them. Well, maybe. Now, let's get back to town. Okay. Kicks the dirt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle kick. <laughs> uh, you can make it back to town easily enough. I'm not going to make you roll a check Good. for that. Okay. I what? definitely start walking the wrong way first before they guide me, because I I'm I get lost easy. I'm like, alright, let's go! And they're like, ah, this way. Oh, okay. Uh, Cookie's going to uh, guide them when they get back into town to hopefully restaurant? Do they have those? Uh, they sure do. They. A mouse to run. I mean, got a mouse to run. Mouse. Yeah. This, this mouse place. To run. This, I, I kind of mentioned this is this feels kind of like a like a university town. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so they have lots of like little restaurants and cafes and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, great for lunching. Then Cookie will steer them towards a uh, local restaurant, assuming he has money to pay for it or trade goods, however they do that. <laughs> so, what this is, is you'll notice that you have two skills we probably haven't talked too much about called resources and circles. Aha! Yes. Resources is how you, you you're gonna, you'd roll that. And success or failure would depend on if you can afford something or not. And if you can't, you can still sometimes get those things, but like, like let's say you were like, okay, let's go to a restaurant, you roll resources. I could either be like, oh, you don't get in, or you get in, but you end up having to do a little work for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then then let's do that. Cookie's going to take them out to get some new food in this town and relax. All right. For the three of you, I believe this is a resources to check. Yes. I don't know with with how hungry he is. It may be a three. <laughs> <laughs> he did an awful lot of running. I have three resources. Um, I have for resources. Cookie's got four. Oh, then you should. Yeah, because you're a big. Chester is a four as well. So you guys could help, help, like use the mm -hmm. help. And this is one of the few checks where you can use the same skill. Okay. Um, or you can use a different one for if you have like a good like story wise, like I use herb wise to find the place with the best smell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. I see. Can Cookie use his knowledge of cooking, baking, or brewing to find a good-looking place based on any of those? You are the one rolling. It sounds like you're the one rolling the resources. Okay, check. I'll be the one rolling then. Yeah, so your friends... So you guys you. would be the assist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so who, anybody want to assist? Oh yeah, I'm assisting. Okay, I'm so... Like, I'm not eating crap much. Is it... <laughs> she's she's okay, so... sad about her duck friend. <laughs> oh. So I got she's like, five. Lunch forever. Can I use Lore Mouse to like know the, uh, the historically what the best restaurants in the area are? Oh. So Lore Mouse is actually more about animals. Oh, okay. Um, if you're going for like history stuff, that's Archivist. Okay. All right. Well, then I don't have that. Yeah. Um, oh, I'll use Cartographer. I probably have a map that I've sketched out with all the restaurants I've been to before. It's like the visitor's guide map. The visitor's guide, guide to Thistledown. It's a, it's a little project that I've been working on. I, I haven't really published it yet, but it's a, it's a visitor's guide to the cities I've traveled to. It has popular restaurants, uh, sites to see occasionally. I, I hear people like to look at sites on occasion. And um, Do you have I, a pen name for this project? I like to look at ducks. A, a pen name for this project. It's, um, <laughs> oh, God. No, I hadn't thought of that because it just crossed my Cookie mind. Chester should team up together, and they can invent like the Michelin star rating for restaurants. <laughs> the Mouselin. Right. The Mycelin. Mycelin. The Mycelin. <laughs> yeah, so I give this one I, a it's, I, I, three it's paws. A, it's, it's a Mouselin three, three whisker. Yeah, <laughs> three paws. Three paws. Three paws. <laughs> So I was like, I I think I've heard there's a really good restaurant right around the corner here, according to this map. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. It's upside down. It's over there, actually. <laughs> All right. So you got you to help die. And, oh, instead of like Yelp, you should call it like Squeak. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> squeak for all your, your flavor needs. Okay. So uh, I got a four. So plus one, that's five dice. So. Yeah. You need a two. Oh, I got a two. You got it. You got a two. Uh, so you can afford lunch. <laughs> yes. Um, we get lunch. Just just as a note, because we haven't had to use circles yet, circles is used to make up NPCs that you need. Mm. Like, okay. let's say you need a blacksmith for some reason. You can roll resources. If you succeed, you find them, there's no problem. If you fail, you find them and there's a problem. <laughs> oh. oh my. Okay. <laughs> either, either they already know who you are and you have some beef, or, like, there's something called, is it called the amenity clause? Is that mm. the right word? Anonymity? Yeah. One of those weird lots of Anonymity. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Where they are your enemy. 
Like there's 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 some some issues there, or there will be. Mm. Um, okay. So circles tests are cool, especially for me. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I think you would like those a lot. <laughs> uh, it's fun, but uh, you find a nice little a nice little cafe, um, ni- nice little lunch spot. Um, what kind of food are you looking for? Uh, Cookie is looking for something savory, hearty. Okay. Uh, some to restore those calories he burned, <laughs> or hopefully burned. <laughs> um, they have these. Um, they're kind of like round uh, things of bread mm. that are spiced, um, actually with a spice from uh, the north, oh. which you've not had too much of. Um, it's actually like a cumin. Oh, mm. like a spicy roll. It's like like there's a little spiciness to it. Almost like a curry like roll. A... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. Sounds good. Um, you can kind of bite into it. And okay. The inside kind of steams out, and it's got vegetables in it. He's gonna sit there with his little little paws on it. Like... <laughs> it's like steam coming up, and he's he's happy. His whiskers the, twitching a little bit. Like oh, the, the steam curls into hearts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little hearts. His whiskers twitch twitch a little bit. Like you know, bloop, bloop, as he's munching on it. Like oh, oh, this is divine. <laughs> and and he'll he'll be something along the lines of my compliments to the cook to the chef. <laughs> uh, the the server's like oh yes of course yes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay. He'll, he'll enjoy that and uh, probably see what else would be on the menu for other items, too. Like, he may order one or two extra items. You know, he's, he's a hungry mouse. Okay. See if they maybe have something sweet. Um, <laughs> see too, if they have something good to wash it all down with beyond water. Maybe some tea or something like that, you know? <laughs> you guys are in Thistledown. Um, Want some of that leaf juice. <laughs> that hot leaf juice. Mm-mm. Thistledown actually does have a type of coffee oh oh um as well as something else that they said but it's more of an evening drink when you're trying to wind down for mm. the night you should give patches that in the morning <laughs> yeah get, get, no, get them an order of that now make them calm down <laughs> all right um they, they call it the thistle down oh nice the thistle down nice it's good. um but yeah, they do have a. It's a. It's a very like dark roast kind of coffee. Okay. Okay. He's gonna order that with something sweet. Okay. Uh, it's sort of a honey roll. Perfect. Patches will get one too. And uh, Chester just goes in for the coffee. Well, while eating, can Cookie look to Patches and be like, Patches? Cookie. <laughs> now this duck where did Quackers. you learn where did you learn to do that well I'm from Maple Harbor and we got a lot of boats down there and some of those boats are ducks did you always come up in a family riding ducks no, my, my mom and dad are weavers. Well, you're an adventurous sort then, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Captain Blue Whiskers told me all about how to ride ducks. Captain Blue Whiskers? Yeah, he's my best friend. Who is Captain Blue Whiskers? He's a pirate. Is he a fairy pirate? A pirate? Yeah. No, he can't be a real yeah, pirate. Yeah, no, he's a real pirate. He's retired, though. A retired real pirate. Is he a yes. mouse? Yes. Wow. Now, um, question for you, Ethan. Has pirates or anything like that, would that be a known item at the area? <laughs> something they've heard about? Or is it something new? It's Pirates are mostly in the southern sea. Like, they're the... Okay. They're, they're sort of where they are more. Because they, they occasionally go to Maple Harbor, but they're, they mostly stay in the southern territories. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, then, then Cookie would probably be talking with Patches and to that effect. He's like, oh, don't they normally stay to the south? He must have come yeah, up there. Yeah, Captain Blue Whiskers has so many cool stories. He sits at the bar and he drinks like his, his mouse beverage of choice 
Which, he doesn't always tell me what it it's is. Mouse rum. It's mouse rum. <laughs> actually, actually, it's established in Maple Harbor that they have a lemon tree, so it's probably lemonade. It's probably with the spikes. Hard right. lemonade. Yeah, he drinks hard <laughs> lemonade. And he tells me all of these awesome pi stories from when he was a non-retired pirate, just an actual pirate. And Ooh. he always listens to my stories, which is a lot better than most people, because most people are like, oh, you didn't really do that, Patches. Or, and so, he's awesome. He sounds like a really yeah. cool, he's cool my mouse. my best but friend. We should have to meet him someday. That'd be great. Yeah, well, if we're ever in Maple Harbor, I can introduce you. Okay, well... He doesn't just talk to anybody. No, well, Patches, I got to say, that was, that was some impressive duck riding. Thank you. It was very impressive. Um, Way too dangerous. I, I have to agree with Chester here, though. Patches, that was very dangerous of you. I understand you're young and full of excitement and vigor, and I was once that way, too, when I was a young baker mouse. I mean, I used to come up with so many crazy ideas, and he's starting to ramble a little mm -hmm. bit about the recipes and stuff that he'd do. Um, that doesn't sound anyways, crazy. Crazy for a baker. <laughs> I mean, who would think to mix in eggs with? <laughs> I don't know. He's starting to come with some random. Um, but you know, just next time, let's you know, look before you leap, so to speak. I definitely looked first. I had to know where to jump. Yes, uh, I think the saying's lost on you, but um, Cookie, look... I, I, I think, I think what you're trying to say is, patches, yeah. we're a team. And you ran out without us. We don't want to see so anything bad happen. Next you, time, you want to help jump on the duck with me. No, we want to talk with you about <laughs> your interest in jumping on the duck and then decide if it's good for the group. Patches, we, we have an obligation as your senior ranger mice to help see you through this and become a very successful and someday old ranger. And... Jumping on a duck may have been a very quick end to your... I don't know, I was pretty Ranger successful way. with my duck jumping. You were, you were, but that success won't always follow you. Wait, let's look back at it. You. In this day, you did get on the duck. I did. But then the duck flew away. Well, no, I tamed him first, and then he flew away because he wasn't... You, you got on the duck, yeah. and the duck flew away. Uh-huh. And then a frog tried to eat you, and the duck still flew away. Well, no, the duck was like wanted to stay but cookie let him go where is quackers now quackers is eating tad where <laughs> in a pond because quackers likes water you don't really know <laughs> well, patches the the whole the whole idea is here is just be more careful all right if you want to see you so, become a great great ranger so someday. mention jumping on the duck with the group before jumping on the duck because you guys might want to jump on the duck with me. Or maybe we won't jump on the duck, <laughs> and we'll get someone else to jump on the duck. Like who? Well, we could have... We don't know. You didn't give us a chance to look. All right, fine. We'll talk about jumping on ducks before we jump on ducks. Thank you. <laughs> here, have, here have, have some of this honey, honey roll of mine Thank here. You. I can't eat it all. A good friend once told me a long time ago, stop for six seconds and think about it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> These are words of wisdom for those of you who don't know that my sorceress, one of our, our fellow players, had to tell her, because a round is six seconds in D&D, wait six seconds before you dimension door onto the back of the retreating adult blue dragon. Yes. <laughs> so you, you have a reputation for jumping on Just things. Just do things. Things. things that fly away. Yeah. Things that fly away. Do you know what? I killed that dragon. It all worked out. <laughs> The dice gods love you. <laughs> just like anyway, getting into trouble. But yeah, like, the dice gods just like people getting into trouble. They do. Yes, they do. They do. They do. Patches. <laughs> I'll, I'll think about it. Let's. Six seconds. It doesn't seem too long. I think I can do that. Do that count. And anyways, let's let's enjoy the rest of our lunch here, and maybe okay. go see if uh, anything's cropped up at the ranger station. <gasps> do you think Angus like... saw me? Jump the duck. <sighs> they probably, probably did. This is good coffee. I'm gonna put a, that in my in my. Yeah. My I'm gonna get a cup too. 
patches. Cookie, what about names? I, I, I really think this, this traveler's guide thing is a great idea. Oh. I mean, it could be, uh, you, we could make some money off of this if we, come on, like, we put patches, adventurous ideas, like, great things to jump on in, in this town, and then you can be great places to eat, and I could just play all the, uh, just the names of it on the map. About, like, uh, uh, CCP's, uh, um, can't, can't do PCP. Um, no, uh, CCP, <laughs> Cookie, Chester, Patches, uh, CP... There, C. Oh, now I'm stumbling over myself. CCP <sighs> or P, P or PCC. I gotta write it down so I'm not that. Um, <laughs> CCP's paw advisor. Instead of trip advisor, paw advisor. <laughs> the mouse's friend. How about oh. that? Is that that the works. Mouse's friend. The yeah. mouse's companion. Mouse's hmm. companion guide. Um. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll think, think about, about it. Mouses. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll work on it. I mean, I still have so many maps to write out and names. I'm taking na notes and all, but uh, it'll it'll be a while. Your your um, server comes by. What about mouse guide? Like mouse guard, but guide. Mouse guide. Oh, I like that. I like yeah. Mouse guide. <laughs> a, a cookie, give him a tip. A good tip this time. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now remember, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I heard that that's like lemonade or something. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> Trust me. I'll have to go talk to them. <laughs> um, I, I would think at this point, then after they enjoy eating coffee, talking about that, if you guys are good, um, pay for the food. Mm -hmm. However, they pay Back for it. Back to the ranger station. Ranger station. Yeah. Back to the ranger station. Uh, I'm. Right. I've never actually. <laughs> I actually don't know how mice pay for things. We'll like, have to figure that out. <laughs> it's, not, it's not. I don't know. Like, because it's not in the book. There's no like. Huh. No mouse currency. Region. Yeah. Hmm. I would imagine so, they have like a trading system. Like, yeah, here's I, a corn kernel for your your strawberry. You know, <laughs> or you, corn kernels. Or... You might have like um. I don't know, like a bank account, and so you write like a yeah, uh, like credit. Thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a credit. credit. It's gonna be like the movie. What was it? Rango with the lizard. He's in the town in the Wild West, and they have in the bank. It's a jug of water, and everybody gets a water ration. Except for this, it'd be like a food ration, maybe. No, because no, because there's definitely barter. Barter mm -hmm. exists, but I'm talking about like since you guys don't produce anything, yeah, you probably have rangers. an amount of money, mm -hmm. and it's probably in a bank somewhere. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And so you're given Our like... A ranger paycheck. <laughs> you have like Ritz. Paycheck. Yeah. Ritz. Ritz makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you guys head back to the ranger station. Um, I run back. We're, we're still in the player phase. So I can't okay. give okay. you guys things to do yet. Okay. Well... So you can either... Uh, you guys can either like return back home you can come up with your own missions that might be like a skill check if you're okay. trying to improve something or uh anything like that how many oh. checks do we oh. get in the player phase again uh one plus however many you've earned okay which is something i've been trying to encourage mm -hmm. everyone to do well then, I mean, if if we want to possibly up our skills, you said we could do something to possibly do that in town as a mission. Uh -huh. Correct. And I should mention, if you have hungry and thirsty, you no longer do. Okay. Because you you just succeeded a recovery check. I'm looking through my skills to see if there's something that would be good. Yeah. Like if you wanted to work on I'm just trying to think of like a random skill mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to work on like your scout skill you could say like someone has a mission where they need someone to find something mm -hmm. or, um, anything like that or you could use it to continue a story in, in the direction you want to go you guys can travel traveling is always an option um, that's always like a pathfinder test to the next town okay Ooh. Um, See, and we're on Wild Seed right now, correct? Mm -hmm. 
No, you guys are in Thistledown. Yeah, we're in Thistledown. Thistledown. My bad. Okay. You have not, retur you have not returned to Wild Seed yet. You that's could. Right. That, that's an option. Um, well, we did get sent out here originally to deliver the mail, so maybe it'd be good if we doubled back. Um, sometimes you guys would like double back. Sometimes you would make a circuit. It's up to you. We, ooh, a circuit might be a fun idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe see if there's any outgoing mail from this post to the next town and do a, a quick roundabout return. Always an option. I, I think Chester is really interested in seeing. Uh oh, we're back. Yes. Um, the last thing I heard before my internet went kapooey was um. I think Chester was asking a question to our, our lovely game master. So, <laughs> yeah, no, we don't. Do I don't what actually. That question Chester. was. I don't remember what it was. I, yeah, don't remember. We were like at this players point. phase, and we we're like we have to do checks, and then we were talking about doing a circuit. That's what I last heard. Well, oh, we were talking about different things we could do. Uh huh. Yes. Um, and I was suggesting that maybe Chester would want to go uh, up to. Um, what was the name of that North town? To look at the ducks. Yeah, <gasps> Don Rock to go see an actual duck boat. One that's not, you know, yeah. trying to kill our friend. Well, maybe. No, Quackers was a good duck. He wasn't trying to murder me. But maybe Quackers will be at Don Rock. Yeah. Patches would so be down to go to, to, Don, to Don Rock. as She's only seen the seaside. She's not seen the freshwater side. So, in her young little mouse life. So, Patches would be down for that. It's like uh, we uh, we can check to see if there's any mail that needs to go that way or, <gasps> or any trail true. work. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm down. You can show us all about ducks. I can. Uh, Since just, you are uh, duck wise, it's, I am. I'm well, boat wise technically, but ducks are both yeah. sometimes. Co Cookie's always been more of a homely at home mouse, so he's a little hesitant to keep going further north. <laughs> towards the wild lands of them duck boat captains <laughs> but um he would he would be willing to go along he just wouldn't be super enthused about it but he'd be like okay let's go do it um when you mention this to angus yeah you have to you're gonna have to check out and yeah, stuff and oh, yeah. And he's like stamp our brooches yeah. oh yeah no we uh actually got a we got a little bit of mail not much not a not like what you guys brought in um mm -hmm. but we we have had a request <gasps> oh like turns around and uh yeah a couple days ago um and an older mouse came by uh asked you to there's there should be like a small shrine something at the crossroads she okay. would like you to take this there and hands over like a like a box like a package it's not it's not, it's not in a box okay. but it is wrapped in like paper Okay. He's like, there's some instructions on it. Oh. Um. Mm -hmm. it, the second you t touch it, patches. Uh huh. Something sparks in you. Like you, you can feel your. It. It's not like a fluttering of your heart, but uh -huh. you, you can feel something moving through it. Ooh. Okay. Yes, we can definitely do that. <gasps> By the way, Angus, did you see my duck taming this morning? I saw you do something real dumb and fly off. He should tell you about the frog that tried to eat her, too. Oh, I expect that. <laughs> Got him real good, though, with quackers as help. She's learned her lesson. Angus, she's. We've had a talk with her about it. She should hopefully not be so reckless in the future. Correct, Patches. I said I was gonna talk about it first. Yep. See, that's a step in the right direction. Well, um, is that the only package? Is there anything else you'd like us to take up there? He, he hands over like a small parcel of mail. Okay. It, Cookie will grab that. It's enough to like put under your, under your arm. Like it's. It's not much at all. Okay, Cookie will grab that then, and he'll he'll be in charge of the parcel. Okay. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Companion cube parcel. Yes, I've got the small shrine package. <laughs> all right. Okay then. Um, I guess then Cookie will uh, sign out procedures. Mm -hmm. Vote, stamp, have everybody 
do the same and let's get going while the day's still somewhat young. I think while traveling, Patches would like to try and get better at her scouting by like watching Cookie and Chester and asking questions. Mm -hmm. So scouting is more like looking at things, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's going okay. off ahead and like, so it, it's more like you would not be watching Chester and Cookie. You would have left. <laughs> okay. Oh. <that's laughs> and like bad. scouted ahead. I get lost. Okay. Was, climbing yeah. trees, um, like climbing trees to like get a better viewpoint and all that sort of stuff. Um, Chester will suggest that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do I, it. I, let, let, let's go into fiction. You were just staring at Chester and Cookie the entire like while you're walking, and I imagine Chester's like, "Why don't you go climb a tree?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to get a vantage point. You know what's Fine. also got a really good vantage point? Ducks. <laughs> so I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. How far ahead are you trying to scout? Oh, you know, an appropriate amount, which is decently far. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you looking for anything specifically? Well, aside from ducks and frogs. <laughs> um Aside from ducks, because she's always on the eye out for ducks now. Um, okay. You know, just things that might try to steal the mail, like squirrels. Okay. Uh, since you're looking for something specifically, and you're trying to be a little more brash about it, this is going to be a check three. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I do the, the newbie thing again? Because I have zero scout points. Oh, okay. So you're going to take half your health. Okay. Or no, sorry, not half your health. You're going to take your health. Uh-huh. Um, any other modifiers, which I don't think you have. Mm. And then, if you're gonna spend any persona or anything like that. Nah. Okay. And then divide <laughs> that total number by two. <laughs> okay. Uh, round up. Alright. Alright, cool. So you're at three. Yep. Let's try mm -hmm. this. Let's try it. What'd you get? I got three. You succeeded. So mark off a mark off a success there. Yes. What are you nice. on scout? Um, I have nice. two passes now. Nice. So you just need one more pass or fail. Okay. And you will have rank two scout. Cool. So I climb a tree, and I look around. I don't see any squirrels. You, <laughs> not only do you not see any squirrels. Uh, you actually see a, a small spot for fresh water, so you guys can get, like, quick drink and refreshment on the way there. I will run back <laughs> and <laughs> report <laughs> back to Chester. There's, there's a small spring that you have, that you can get to. Yeah, I found a spring, and I didn't see any male stealing squirrels, or frogs, or ducks. Ah, good, good work, Patches. Um, <laughs> Cookie's panting. I I'm surprised. I didn't know that there was fresh water along the path in this rain. Well, Pulls out I a found it. Like making notation. Wow, you're you're getting good at this. I'm. The initiative is good. I mean, it was terrible this morning, but now, <laughs> now this is this is good. Thank you. Oh, wow. fresh be, water. Be a ranger of her yet? <laughs> sweat, sweat. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I use my check to get a little better at something guys arrive at the spring mm -hmm. um it's it's a little strange it's a slightly strange spring like there's there's the pool and there's water coming down out of like a out of like a passage but there's it's got a perfectly square like thing poking out just above where the water's coming out i poke it it's pretty high up there oh i You'd have to it. climb it <laughs> And then I'll climb up. Uh, you, you got, you're getting all kinds of wet, and like you slip a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's you're not sure what exactly it is, but it's perfectly square and got kind of like a circle around it, and there's some water coming out of the bottom of it. Hmm. Chester, what do you think this is? I I, I don't know. I've not seen something quite like that. It's square. Oh. Um, it. The, the hill kind of, like, in the grass and stuff kind of grow up around the mm -hmm. whole place where the spring is coming out of, so there's no place for water to have, like, to come up. 
happened. It's very strange. Like, normally water rolls downhill, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it would need a hill to roll down. But it's up yeah. sort of the top of this area. Chester will start walking around the little hill, just trying to figure out why it's doing what it's doing. I just stick so my face strange. in it. Yeah. <laughs> like, dunk your head underwater? Yep. <laughs> um... I mean, there's just a small little, and it's got, you know, there's some pressure involved, but you can, you can't, like, get into it. It's too small. Yeah. To yeah, she just, like, sticks her paws in. She's just messing she with paws it. paws in there and almost, like, stop the water until you're, like, pushed out and you actually fly out and into the pool. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, I dare say it looks almost like some sort of spring. <laughs> I've not seen a spring like this before. Normally, springs, uh, the, the water comes from below. That's odd. It's beyond me. I've never seen such a thing. Hmm. Now, I'll make a note on the map. Okay. Um, what time of day is it? Are, do we need to consider stopping for the night? Or can mice go through the night? Or um, do you get, like, fatigue? Kind of like D&D? &D? It's... Like, if you know that there's a predator coming, you'll probably move through the night or hide. Mm -hmm. um, that night, you typically try not to move if if you're not actively being chased. Owls. Hiding, because mm -hmm. there's owls. Um, uh, a lot of the, like, land-based ones don't come in because of the scent border. Mm -hmm. So you don't okay. use foxes or wolves or that sort of thing. But sometimes snakes come out of the ground at night. Well, Cookie, Cookie will suggest to the group... Hey, uh, maybe, maybe we should rest here for the night. This, I mean, odd as this is, at least it's fresh water. Well, one thing to understand about fresh water is that while it's attractive for us to be here too, it is also attractive for other animals. This is true. So let's find some dirty water and camp there. <laughs> dirty water. Way to go, Patches. That's yeah. good thinking. <laughs> I didn't see any, though, when I looked. No. Oh. Uh, I, I should mention, because you guys aren't carrying, like, a heavy burden, and you are mostly sticting to the road, except for mm -hmm. this one little... You mm -hmm. guys should be able to make it to your... Uh, no, because you kind of left late, so yeah, you probably yeah. have to the night. <gasps> Will we be able Maybe. to reach the crossroads, at least? You might be able to get to the crossroads. Okay. Let's try for the crossroads. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I have a question, though, Patches. Have you tried to peek inside this thing? Oh, one hundred percent. Um, I didn't get sleepy tingles from this thing. I got exciting tingles. However, because we can't, you can't spend two checks in a row. Yeah. We will have to move, move uh, agency to someone else. Yep. How many checks did you have, by the way? I had two. You had two. Okay. What's everyone else at? Two. Two. I, guess. And I apologize. You said checks for the day, just like overall checks. How not many? Not in combat. Mm. Oops, I should... Not how many times you've rolled dice, but how many checks have you earned? Oh, because like you know, pass fails. Whenever... No, whenever you use a uh, trade against you, you earn a check. Oh, I see what you're saying. I forgot to spend in the player phase. Next, I think Cookie has three. I've. Let's see. I did the one. I think he did. I think he does have three. Yeah. Yeah. So. You'll need uh, to do yours now because you can't do two in a row. Uh -huh. Correct. So if you have three and the rest of us have two and, and Patches no, has I one now. One, I, or I would have two because I used one. Okay. Well, you, ha you start one with one. against me in the fight. You start with one? No, but you've already you spent one to do the cafe scene. Mm -hmm. So you're oh. at two right now. Get two. Does it count if I used, though, uh, his trade against him in that fight? I think that's what bumped you up to three. Mm -hmm. But you've already spent one. Yeah, so you have two. So I have two. You're at two. Okay. Yeah. Then, um, and I can use them for whatever? Wait so, check. checks are spent. I, either you can do something and I ask for a check, or you can actively seek out to use it. Mm -hmm. a specific like, I wanted to, to get better at scouting. So I went... Um, then uh, I would like, um, can I get Cookie to try for one of his checks uh, gathering again? Because he gathered that one night when they're out on the roads. Mm -hmm. He wants to use some of his newfound knowledge of uh, plants through uh, Chester to try and find some more food for tonight. Okay. 
Um, are you looking for anything specific or just whatever you can find? Um, whatever I can find. I won't be too picky tonight. Okay. Um, Let's see what he can make it into, whether it be uh, berries, seeds, uh, uh, even just simple snack food for a mouse. Okay. Uh, give me a... I would like a... Bug. <laughs> a one. A one. That's what you're success. looking for. Hey, one. I mean, you were going to be rolling more dice than one, but you succeeded, so. Because <laughs> you should have been rolling. Uh, oh, the, the beginning my gathering check? Mm -hmm. My you gathering only has one. You don't have gathering yet. I don't, okay. So you would take half of your health or will mm -hmm. and then roll that, but. Okay. You rolled one dice and got one. And so you have another you another pass on gathering, so you should have two checked there. Yeah. Okay, so I have four health, so I would have rolled two dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, go ahead and roll that other dice to see how, how well you did. If you get two, I'll give you a strawberry. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Come on, my little mouse. Hey! hey strawberry! You found a strawberry. Which, oh. by the way, it's about the size of your head. Yeah. <gasps> he's he's going to sit there with us. Boing, like really big eyes, like his beady black eyes go boink, like just saucers, just like oh, and he's gonna over to it, a little bit of jiggle, and he's gonna gingerly cut it down from the little berry bush, and he's gonna have this big honking berry, and he's gonna happily bring that back to the camp, and he'll chop it in half, and the first half he'll do uh, some thin slices and just hand everybody some slices to munch on while he prepares the other half of the strawberry. And uh, that one, I think he'll quarter or half that one. So split that half and half. I should mention, no, no, you have a knife. We don't have knives? Oh, that's right. I always think of him as being I like got a, a hook. hook. Got a you hook. got a stick. <laughs> yeah. You could use the wire of the hook. Or no, oh, I yeah, could use the you line. Could. You could use the line. <laughs> like a cheese cutter. Yeah. Right. Cheese cutter. Perfect. Let's use that as a cheese cutter. I'm just going to just cut <laughs> half. Everybody gets some strawberries for one half. The other I half. I get to lick the string. Order. Yeah. There you go. Lick the string. <laughs> Probably be like a delicacy for mice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. I, I'm having to rethink. Because I'm used to D&D &D where you have kind of like a mess kit with you. So I'm having to rethink mm -hmm. what else you would do We're with just it. mice. We'd have what we have. He would probably thin slice some of the berries and just try and wrap it up a little bit inside his uh, uh, his apron to keep leftover strawberries for tomorrow morning for breakfast. The other stuff will just stay disturbed now. So. Trying to like dehydrate it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Cut it really thin, let it kind of dry out a bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say like you guys took a like a little bit of time say around lunchtime today. Mm -hmm. Or actually no, because you, you half ate for lunch. So this yep. would be closer to afternoon tea. Yeah, supper. Afternoon. And it, it's summer, so there's a lot of sunlight. So probably like four o'clock. Okay. And you know, you laid some out to dry while you guys ate and rested and we're okay. about to head out a little bit more. Sounds good. Um, yeah, so we can say that happened. Okay. Well, uh, there's one. Um, does anybody else have any checks? I've still got two. Chester uh, goes. Chester's going to try and update his map with this new spring on it and make sure it's all detailed and interesting. So. Uh, try and do a cartographer check. Okay. I, I'm going to give this one two tiers. Okay. Uh, if you get a one, you, you do what you ask. If you get a three, I'm going to give you another piece of information. Ooh. Oh. All right. So, can you get help on these checks? Or is it solo always? And if it makes, like, narrative sense. So if you were mm -hmm. asking for help. I was going to be asking Patches... To, to help me with the landmarks that she used to find it, since she was the one that originally found it. Got it. So. Yeah, I saw this big rock, and it kind of was shaped like a duck's bill. And then I saw that there was this tree. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it, how tall was the tree? Because I can get an uh, angle. It was really tall. Okay, that's not a very specific height. Okay, It was like look. five ducks tall. Wow, five ducks tall. Yep. Okay, that's that's a bit taller than I was expect. All right, fine. I'll go with that then. So, 
Uh, so I have that would give me six. Ooh. Forgot you're very good at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, still only got a two. I mean, if you want to spend a, you fate could try to, explode, to explode the axe. You know, I will. I will take. I've got a couple of fate there. I will because right. I want extra information. All right, so we'll just roll a one. Oh, oh. darn! Oh, no, no extra information. Darn. Darn. Wanted to give it to you. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, you mark it down uh, on your map. This is very easy to find. It's not too far off the road. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, if you had to guess, there it must have been like a recent storm that even made this thing visible. Okay. You you noticed on maps before that hill has been marked, but not a spring. Ah. Uh -huh. So there must have been a recent storm that sort of knocked it loose. Okay. He makes note. Thank you, Patches. That was yes. That was interesting. I wonder where that came from. It wasn't there before. I very strange. Not used Mysterious. to mysterious world changing quite like that. It, maps are normally very simple things that just exist, but you know. Well, when you hang out with me, you're gonna find a lot of adventure. Chaos. I think the word you're looking for is chaos, mm. but that's you're right. That's fine. I think chaos is the grumpy person's word for adventure. It's the person who's lived long enough through chaos to be able to be grumpy. That's the point. Maybe. 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 Well, good work. Oh, it's middle of the night. Where are you running <laughs> off? <laughs> I get to the crossroads. I imagine it's about you guys are getting like maybe in maybe another hour dusk will happen. Mm -hmm. It's getting closer to like seven, maybe six or seven. Okay. Those long summer hours. Um, so we haven't made the crossroads yet. Are we going to try for? You're about to get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. like you will. You will definitely make it in time. Yes. Okay. But you notice as the as the sky starts to turn, you know, the the ambers and oranges and stuff, you can feel the package even more. It's calling you. It, it wants. You take a peek. Yeah. Untie, or do you like rip the paper or do you untie it and unbundle the whole thing? Oh, I think she'll untie it, but like keep one paw on the top. She's scouting ahead, so she's by herself. And so <laughs> keep one paw on the top and then like peel like a little bit of the part of the rock and then back. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Everything Patch has done is terrible. <laughs> Inside, what you see is a sphere of glass. And inside of that, I, I don't know how to describe it other than it's a cat's eye marble. Okay. Her eyes go, oh, treasure. And when you say treasure, it kind of glowed with your voice. <gasps> she away from us doing this? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, um... <laughs> she's she's a smart mouse. <laughs> so she's definitely away. Um So yeah, she's looking at it. She going she going to pick it up. You take it out of the packaging completely? Yes. Um I want you to make me a wild one check. Ooh. Okay. I have a 3 in that. <laughs> So, so something I've added to this game is something called the Wild One. It's a, it's a very specific skill to the setting that I've augmented. Um, right. It's magic. It's magic. It's wild magic. It's cool. <laughs> it's, it's nature magic. All right. Seeing if I can. Yeah. No. I don't think any of my traits really work for or against me here. Um. So she's just gonna roll it. Yep. There's no ob. One. Uh, I want to use a fate point and explode it though. Perfect. Use those. Use those cookies. Two. All right, you're at a two. Okay, so I'm trying to remember what all the like tiers are of this. Um, two. 
I have a question for you. Yes. Have you ever used your Wild One abilities? Before? Nope! <laughs> you have not. Nope! Okay. At this Patches doesn't even know <laughs> what it is. She's just like, the treasure is calling me. At at this moment in time, you kind of go, you know, you're, you're looking at it. And then suddenly you look down at your hands holding this glass orb. Mm -hmm. And they've closed together and formed feathers. And you look down, because you're looking down at your hands, you can also see your face a little bit. Uh-huh. You have a duck bill. Uh, I'm turning into a duck. You, and you look further down, and your feet are webbed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Play it cool, Patches. Play it cool. Which sounded more like Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Play it cool, Patches. <laughs> All right. She's going to put it back in the little packaging. Wrap it up. Try to tie the bow. You don't have fingers. I know. She's like, thumbing it. I once injured my thumb really badly, and so I had to, like, do everything kind of like this for a little while. So that's how it's... And I had to tie shoes for a living at that time. So it was pain in the butt, let me tell you. And at this very moment is when Cookie and Chester are cresting the hill. And I just stuff it back in. I'm like, can hold it your, under. Your, your fingers come back, and you're like, ugh. Oh, oh good, they come back. Cookie and Chester, all you can see as, Patch, as Patches is kind of doing this, and you see a feather come out and kind of like float down. Uh, are we close now? Are we getting in? Yeah, you, you can you can enter the scene. Patches, what are you doing? Hi. Uh, is there an owl attack or something? Is a nope. feather right? No, nope. really? that's ducks. More more ducks. Duck stuff. Yep. Very tiny duck feather. It's not this big. <laughs> it's a big. Patches, um, this cookie's gonna bend and pick up the feather. Where did you get this duck feather? Is the box on the ground? <laughs> or it's it's the, the package has been rebundled and is tied again. You can't. Patches, what have I told oh, you about hear. ruffling rustling your pillows at night? <laughs> I just found it on me. It was real weird. Well, you were riding a duck. It makes. I was. Sense. Yep. Definitely that. We should take this to the crossroads. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wise choice. We should we should keep going. Yep. Cookie will just kind of look at the feather and just <laughs> throw it over her shoulder. Do you, do you you need me to scout ahead this time? Yeah, that'd probably be good. Okay, you two follow the path. Watch for the flags. Yep. I'll We're go gonna, ahead. This, this is an actual road. This you guys. Okay. Yeah, this is this is an actual well-traveled road. That's why it's not taking you guys very long. And okay. Patches is now yeah. holding this package like this far away. <laughs> Cookie's Cookie's gonna comment on that. And be like, what are you doing? Um, Chester kind of jogs down the road, just scouting ahead. Ah, uh, blob carrying this package to the thingamajigger. You you know, Patches, if you carry it like that, your arms are gonna get very tired. I guess I'll get real strong. <laughs> Good training. Good training. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Well, if you need a break, if you need me to help hold that or anything, let me know. Do um, I look like a duck at all to you? Good heavens, though. You look like a mouse. Okay, good. Just wanted to just check in. Okay. Um. Well, you really had fun riding that duck, didn't you? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie's just going to keep following patches like you're a weird mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you sprightly little thing. All right. You guys you guys reach the crossroads and on on the crossroads you actually see like a small You can tell it's mouse made, but it's been carved out of stone. Ooh. Is this um It's a, it's a statue of sorts and it's got like a a torch at the bottom. It's not currently lit. Mm. Um, presumably it's something, it's it's not a fantasy setting where torches just stay mm -hmm. lit forever. Yeah. <laughs> Passerby is usually like, if, if they're there during dusk, like you guys are, mm -hmm. you would normally light it for yeah. night travelers. Alright, well um, let's light this torch. Oh, there isn't supposed to be instructions with this thing. There is. There's a little, little tag and it tells you to put it in the fire. 
You're never stuck, I guess. <laughs> what, what was that about, duck? No, nothing. I was just thinking about quackers. Now you really need to get over that poor duck. I'm sure it's much happier without you right now. I, well... <laughs> does it say to take it out of the packaging first? Uh, you can. You don't have to. It doesn't say... It just says to put the package in the fire. Okay. All right, light up the torch, and then I'm gonna, um... If the package is big enough, I'd like to put it, like, on the tip of the, um... The hook, like, in that little, set, like, curved section, and just hold it out over probably, it. You would probably bend your hook. Oh, it's that heavy. Okay, then she's just gonna... Yeah. Get... Well, yeah. I mean... I must have hicked up or something on my leg there. Do we know that you're putting that in the fire? Are you away from us? No, I'm with you guys. It's, it's, it's on the instructions. instructions. Put it in the fire. I'll take the bow off first, because I like the bow. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the bow. And then I'll stick it in the fire. Um, as the packaging starts to burn away, you guys can all see this marble. Well, that's kind of neat. It's a glass sphere with like a... Ooh. This is something, by the way, that you would have never seen before, probably. Wow, that's what's that's what was inside of the package the whole time! <laughs> Feign surprise. <laughs> well, that's. Yeah, as the fire sort of licks at it, it kind of li gives off like a prismatic effect almost. Ooh. And that's what would happen too. Cookie could be like, ooh. Chester takes a couple steps back. Patches is giving it the side eye. Cookie's <laughs> just looking at it going, what? What is that? And he's going to take his, his staff and kind of poke oh, the. Cookie, don't, don't do that. B back up a bit. You might turn into a duck. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> no, no, I. I... Don't don't be like patches. Take a step back and just let things happen. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Poke, poke, poke. It happens. It happens. Just like some some sparks and embers come up because it's. Oh, see, it's fine. But look, shouldn't we probably get it out of there by now? No, it says this. it says to put it in there, and we'll leave it in there. All right, all right. He pulls a staff and steps back a bit just to watch it. The fire gets warmer. Are you sure we're not supposed to pull it out? Well, let me look at the look at the back. Is there any part two, or is it just say put it in the fire? It says put it in the fire, and uh, no other instructions. It just says put it in there, so I don't take it out, because it doesn't say to take it out. Uh, Cookie, why don't you watch it and make sure everything's okay? And Patches and I'll go make camp. Okay. Oh, here, here take 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 these. Actually, no. Ah. I have a plan for dinner, and he's he's gonna take his strawberry slices out, and he's gonna start. He's gonna watch the orb, but he's gonna start laying them out to get a little bit of baking action going from the fire. <laughs> put them on the orb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like that. He's gonna put the strawberry slices on the orb. Orb roasted strawberries. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna do orb roasted strawberries. They kind of sizzle a little bit. He's like, ooh, yeah, bacon. <laughs> strawberry bacon. Mm-hmm. No. Now let's see. I was trying to see. Um, can he do, like, another check? Um, he's got the, I don't know if it worked with or not, he's got the curious trait. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything he can do to come towards, like, investigating or inspecting the orb while he's putting the strawberries on it and just kind of looking at it? If you're trying to, like, look at it, the physicality of it, um, you can give me, I would take a science. Mm -hmm. I do not have a science. Yeah. So I'd be training a new skill. Yeah. Could be that. I'm looking to see what else I have on there. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I have anything that could work for it. I could attempt to shine it. If you want something different, um, I could have you roll Weather Watcher. Ooh. Sure, I haven't done that yet, so why not? Let's do it. Let's see what the weather's gonna be like for a travel. Yeah. Um, so you are going to get a plus two to your die roll for this. Okay. As you stare into the orb. Um, what is summer difficulty? Every season has a difficulty. Ooh, summer I bet winter's actually... hard. Uh, actually, spring is the hardest. Mm. Oh, no, it isn't. Uh, so, oh, no. Summer... Yeah, okay, so winter is a seven, spring is a six, fall is a five, summer is a four. Okay. So okay. A four. Okay, so my, my weather watcher is a three. And you get okay. plus two. And you're plus two. 
Okay, so five. Okay. And you want to spend curious, so that would give you a six. Okay. Six. Hoo. Three. Ooh, and no, nothing to explode. Nothing um, to explode. Which means I'm going to give you a condition. <gasps> okay. Um, you weren't too far off. What? Or I could give you a twist. So is that a fail or a pass? That is a fail. Fail. Need it's four. Fail. Okay. So, what weather did you want it to be? Uh, he was hopeful for just a nice, uh, slightly cool summer day tomorrow. A little bit of overcast. A little bit of overcast. All right. Um, cool. I'm gonna write that down. My cookie, you fool! You've warming. You've doomed us all. <laughs> With your strawberry glass eye cooking. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see in the orb snowdrifts. Which is weird, because you're pretty yeah. sure it's just a cat's eye marble. Cookie shakes his head a little bit and, and he goes away. Back at it. Oh, <laughs> must have been nothing, and he's gonna keep rearranging those strawberries, and he's gonna flip them now, make sure they're toasty on either side and ready to go. He's he's gonna get a giant blade of grass to get ready to use as a plate to put the strawberries on when they're done. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and okay. I, I imagine uh, nothing. The orb just continues to like a faint sparkling effect, prismatic sparkle. Just doesn't do anything else though. Perfect. It's not like melting or destroying in the fire. <laughs> Okay, he'll watch it. If it looks like it's getting too hot or potentially damaged, he'd probably want to pull it out with the staff. But It looks perfectly yeah. fine. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you guys are making camp. Mm -hmm. Found a nice little hidey hole. Um, probably underneath the root of a tree. I just, I, I, I'm, yep. I'm concerned about this area. I don't oh. know, I just have a feeling. I'm going to scout around for a bit. Okay. Um, I know it's getting dark, but uh, I'm good with night, so. Okay. You okay? Yeah. No ducks. No, there's no ducks here. None here at I all. I mean, you keep, you keep talking about ducks, you're going to turn into one. Ha 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 ha. That was good. <laughs> so he's going he's gonna to go off and try and, <laughs> and scout some. He wants to do okay. a scouting check if I can. See what if the area is safe or mm -hmm. if there's anything in the area we need to concern ourselves with. Okay. Um, yeah. Go ahead and make a scout. Um, it's night and it's an I'm, unfamiliar area. So I'm, gonna I'm make night wise. Place, which means that you can add, you can use that check. Oh no, you're night wise. Yeah. Which means you can spend that to do, of course, or ahas, which I'll talk about in a second. Okay. It doesn't give you any bonus, though. It lets okay. you reroll dice. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so, um, I'm going to say this is a difficulty two. Okay. I have two. Um, I'll use my trait bearing. Um, just, uh, I, I know, like, in scout, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use my, my general understanding of direction to be help me scout through the night in mm -hmm. different areas and be able to get back where I need to go. Okay. So that'll give me use four. So that could be three. Hey. That's what we get. Hey! Three. You got it. Wow. Nice. Um, you don't notice any apparent threats. Okay. Um, you don't see any, like, wildlife. You don't see anything like that. In fact... <laughs> Almost spookily so. Like even some of the things I was expecting to see, I don't see. You, you don't see any birds going back to their nests. You don't you don't hear like uh, sort of the dusk critters, your rabbits and such. You don't see them out getting a last bite before they, they go to bed. You're not seeing anything. Okay. Hmm. It kind of reminds you of the stillness next to the poppy fields. Mm. Oh, that will put him on edge. <laughs> he, he comes scampering back to camp. It's like, welcome back, Captain. You haven't seen any poppies anywhere, have you? Nope. 
What about what about rabbits, birds, anything? Have you seen anything? I I, nope. I saw nothing. No ducks here. <laughs> that that's good. That that's good. Is that a bill on your? Uh, is that right? No. Okay. All, right. all, all, all the physical features disappeared as soon as you guys like crested a hill. <laughs> no, he was just making a joke because yeah. she seemed too concerned about it. He's just like, yeah. is that no? Oh, okay. No. See. I, 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 I saw nothing out there. I, I'm. It's, Good. Well, no. I mean, there are supposed to be things out here. Whoa. You know, bugs and rabbits and squirrels. Nothing, nothing to steal the mail. Just a freaky marble. And right. And some strawberries. Do you have a problem with that marble? What is what's going on? I don't like it. You don't like it? Nope. Why? It's shifty. But you like shiny things. I. Do you like treasure? Right, and I mean, that looks like treasure to me. There's no X on it, it's not treasure. Well, because you already found it. The X is only there when you haven't found it. Well, I uh, don't like it. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's go check on Cookie. He's probably got uh, dinner. Yeah. Just in case the marbles done something to him. Uh, Cookie, you're already heading back at this point. <laughs> You, you, you kind of you guys go like we should find Cookie, and you kind of like go around the corner and bounce into Cookie. <laughs> ooh, ooh. He's got oh, like hey. a plate with him. <laughs> Cookie, welcome. Hey. Well, um, strawberries. Oh yeah, how was the the thing in the fire? Oh, oh, uh, just uh, fine. Uh, they're very interesting. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Uh, but uh, don't trust it. It's definitely interesting. I have, yeah, I probably wouldn't trust it either. You know, it's just a little sphere. So, here, let's have some dinner. All right. right. Nom, 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 nom. Sit and munch. Or roasted strawberry. How does it taste? Do you tell them it's Magical. more roasted? <laughs> <laughs> Magical. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Magical. Dude, it has such an enchanting cover. flavor. Enchanting! Oh no, Cookie! How how do you cook things so wonderfully like this? What? Tell us your secrets. Oh, the baker's touch! You know, you just gotta know when to put it on the grill and when to take it off. Oh, well, you had a grill out here. Oh no, no, uh, just a hard surface is all you need, really. Um, these are toasted very nicely. Yes, yes. Um, I put them on the sphere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this place says it. Yes, it was a, it was a great cooking. I imagine so. she's eaten like ninety, like she had one bite left in her mouth, and just, just spews it as soon as you say cooked it on the sphere. Like the sphere. she's eaten the rest of it, but just <laughs> like that one last bite, just, pff, strawberry chunks. Hey, 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 hey what's, <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you spraying on your food? Is it bad? No, it's fine. I'm going to bed. It's really good. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't either. <laughs> when you were back by the fire, did you hear any squirrels or rabbits or anything? No, nothing. It's so strange. There's no night sounds. Maybe we're just... As night kind of settles in, you also don't... Like, you hear crickets and things very far away, but nothing near you. This is... This is strange. Ah, it's just quiet night. It's nice to have for once without things bothering us, you know? Yeah, nights aren't supposed to be quiet. <gasps> you don't think a predator is around, do you? Cookie Olsen starts looking kind of nervous and jittery like a mouse. like. <laughs> but you would have heard them running, leaving the area. We would have caught Maybe. sound of something. Maybe we should uh, put out that fire and... Uh, Kind of hide for the night. No, leave the fire. It's far enough away. It'll be fine. Do you think that orb will be okay in the fire? Uh, they wanted it put in the fire. I mean, what if what if the fire burns out though at night? Then it won't be in the fire. What do we do then? It wasn't in the instructions. We should just follow. I mean, things like strange things like that. You don't ask questions. All right, suits me. Cookie's going to uh, just prep uh, for resting whether that be getting some grass and making a little comfy bed to sit on or a leaf 
or you know something like that to prop himself up in the campsite and just get ready to be comfy for the evening. Patches Pimple some like pine needles together. Snuggles pine up ne in her cloak. <laughs> but in a spot where she can watch the orb. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't trust it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and um I th I think you guys are out of checks, aren't you? Mhm. Mm yeah. Yep. I think that's where we end for the night. Oh boy. Ooh. Is Okay. Is, is we we kind of end the episode with patches just like staring down the orb. <laughs> I'll make it stare don't blink you know it's like off uh, Doctor Who the uh, the angels yo oh, no <laughs> oh, awesome cool I'm very so... curious about that orb now <laughs> very so curious I. yeah hmm. Pat just doesn't trust it just leave it alone to punch it <laughs> um, instructions though but yeah yeah, yeah so Let's do end of session stuff. Uh, we're going to go over bigs, and because, uh, yeah, let's go with beliefs around the table. Uh, I guess we can start with Cookie Chester Patches. Okay, you sure. Guys are in the Zoom window. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds good to me. I'm pulling up my character sheet. Come on. All right, beliefs. Nobody should ever be hungry. We ate lunch. We ate dinner, got strawberries for him. I'd say that's a good, yeah. Um, so if you're in agreement with that, do you add a point per th item that you succeed or only if all three succeed? No, you get a fate point for this. Mm -hmm. So a fate point, okay. Yeah. For beliefs and instincts, you get fate. Okay, goal is... Goal, goals, you get fate if you worked on it and persona if you succeeded. Okay, instinct. I always have to sample new foods and drinks. I don't know if there's anything super new, new to the episode, sure, but not you necessarily. Tried some coffee. Yeah, some you tried weird... the coffee. Oh, okay. Spice Think... bombs. Okay, so I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, goal: lose some weight, including or increase cardio. You did increase cardio. <laughs> increase cardio. I don't know if you gained weight. It's like half or decrease weight is like half a point. <laughs> I will or, I will give you working on that. You did not succeed at that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Working on it. It's a work in progress. You know, losing weight you takes got another, time. You got another fate. You got a fate point there. Okay. You can't rush these things. <laughs> <laughs> it's the slow, steady burn. <laughs> All right. And Chester? Uh, belief. The best paths are those we haven't walked yet. Well, when we stepped off the path, when Patches was scouting, we found that really neat spring. So sometimes when you step off the path, you, you're finding a new trail, well, you can find cool, fun things. Yeah. So like I think hydrants. that... What's that? <laughs> like fire what? hydrants. <laughs> like fire hydrants, yeah. And square nozzles that sprout water. You never know. Weird. Great stuff. I'm glad that you guys realized that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, instinct. I never stay away from the trail. Uh, that never works because for this group, so he's kind of going against his instincts most of the time. Um, well, what's interesting is your instinct and your belief kind of fight against each other. They do. Like he's very, he's very, he's like he believes you find new stuff when you blaze a trail, but he's imagining his trail is the the one he's following, and he's he's going against it with with cookie and patches. Mm -hmm. So um, that that's fine. That's that's the instinct. He's a little conflicted. Yeah. Um, goal is help Patches become a better ranger. So, you know, I think we might have helped a little bit. Gave her some life lessons about duck riding. <laughs> uh, supported her on her scouting up the trail. Uh, helped her uh, use her knowledge to, to make his maps better. So she actually helped him be a better cartographer too. But uh, my question is then to Patches. Mm -hmm. Is this progress or did, did he succeed? Well... I'm going to say they didn't succeed on the duck point, but <laughs> she did learn more about scouting than she would have just staring at them. So okay. he did so teach her about scouting. Work in progress. Mm -hmm. That just is just difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Parents were really happy when she was like, I'll be a ranger. They're like, okay, oh, good. <laughs> Get her out of our house. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, uh, Patches. Her belief is adventure is out there. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> did she find a lot of it today. Pond, she flew for the first time. That was quite the adventure. Uh, found a pond. Faced off. Uh, Tad. Oh, oof. And then, uh, weird square nozzle spring thing. And now, oh, the orb. It's an adventure, orb. too. So, orb. she found a lot of adventure today. I think. All right. So yeah, that's that's a big point. Instinct. Never run away from an exciting moment. <laughs> mm, did you though? Did 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 you run away from the orb? Oh. oh. I don't know if she ran away from the orb so much as she's keeping an eye on it. Okay, yeah, no, that's you, you, you can do that. <laughs> that's brown. <laughs> like she giving it that that mean side eye. Like I can't trust you no more, orb. <laughs> you, turn, you turn me into a duck, orb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Yeah. So now I think if the orb fucks with her again, she might leave it like leave him. Right now, she's just. Mm -hmm. I'll have to uh, write you the instructions on how to do that in the future. <laughs> oh, there's some, there's a, there's a little bit of like nuance to it. Extra, extra, you extra. Can have, you extra. can have three animal forms. Oh wow! Okay. So one of them is a duck, and <laughs> the other two you have to like, I, you have to look at something and point at it and be like, I want to take the aspects of that. Love it. <laughs> duck is so fitting though. Oh my gosh! And my goal was ride the duck. I rode Persona. that duck. That's Persona. actually was pretty sure I wasn't going to make my goal today, and then the dice were like, JK, <laughs> you're riding the duck. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we got the last three. Oh, yeah. We got Workhorse, MVP, and Embodiment. So let's start with MVP, which is the person who... Uh, had the right skill at a critical moment and like saved the day basically. Hmm. Patch has saved herself with that duck riding. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, if you put yourself in danger, saving yourself, does that count? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <sighs> um, yeah, makes me wonder. I think Cookie saved the day by finding that strawberry. Yeah, and he got us lunch. Mm -hmm. Food. Yeah. We're very food-driven people, IRL. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> okay, that is true, but you know, <laughs> we're like, oh man, food's important in game. Um, Cookie also ran in to help with with the frog, which was pretty. Cool. So did Chester. Mm -hmm. No, no, Chester stayed on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. I got mess with the frog. You, got the, <laughs> you did like the the da the most damage in that conflict. Yeah. Ooh, that would that was probably the duck, wasn't it? <laughs> so duck for him. Oh no, it was it was patches. <laughs> patches took all the points off on the duck. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. patches. Yeah, and, and then, on the frog. Hmm. Something to consider. Can we have dual MVPs? <laughs> no, but there's also workhorse. Remember, which is the person who, uh, kind of slogged along in the background and got things done and that sort of stuff. I think Chester was the workhorse <laughs> today. Just. Get Let's scout, so I, let's camp, let's make this. Let's, let's say patches for MVP, Chester for workhorse. Okay. Okay. Does that, does that work? Sure. That works. Yeah. Then That's we have embodiment, which is the person who played to their traits and <laughs> conditions the most. I think that's a cookie patches yeah. again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'd say patches because you were really everybody. on it today. You were really on it today, though, for patches. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say patches for that one, too. That one you can give up to two. It's one to two people. Yeah. All right. Well, I vote for Cookie, too. So. Yeah, I see. I vote for, I vote for Cookie as well. Cookie patches. Right. So okay. you guys both get a persona. Okay. Yay. Yay. And then. Cool. Uh, yeah. Cool. Then, and then we're, we're done. And as, <laughs> as the credits kind of finish. Uh huh. And patches blinks. <gasps> the orb's still there. 
Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you all of a sudden just like in the camera. <laughs> but the cat's eye turns and stares back. Yeah. Yeah, the orb, the like cat's eye is not visible on the orb in the fire, and the orb just slowly starts turning in the <laughs> Like the cat's eye starts swinging. It was doing it during the entire time, the entire credit sequence. It just yeah. so you couldn't tell. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, all right. Awesome. Um, yeah. So. so much fun. Awesome. So, Ta-da. yeah, we'll do our outros because that was super duper fun. Oh, my goodness. I'm <laughs> thoroughly enjoying Mouse Guard, and I. Sorry, everyone, for patches. It's, just, it's been a while, a little bit since I've had a crazy wild child, but it was also super fun. So let's go around. Uh, we'll say who we are, where we can find you online, and uh, what your favorite part from today's show is. We'll start with Chester. All right. Uh, I'm Deception Check. I'm playing Chester. Uh, you can find me on this channel on uh, Tuesdays uh, for Miss of Ravenloft and on Fridays for the next, uh, well, not next week, but uh, two more weeks after this uh, for Mouse Guard. And also for the next five more weeks on Tuesdays at 2 o'clock, I'm on Encounter Roleplay playing Call of Cthulhu. And it's awesome having a great time. First time playing Call of Cthulhu there too, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, My favorite part is pretty much just the madness that surrounds Patches. It's just constant. It's it's, Cookie and I are just trying to keep up. so it's 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 a lot of fun. The duck, I did not expect the duck, and then Tad. Pat's so is beautiful. Horse. Good times. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you, Deception Check. Let's scoot over from Deception Check to Shiny Pilot. I'm um, Shiny Pilot. Um, play a cookie. Uh, find me pretty much just on uh, uh, Laugh Level and these channels. Uh, playing on the Tuesday game for uh, Mr. Ravenloft. And uh, here for Mouse Guard, enjoying it, loving it, especially thank you, Ethan, for again taking us down this path and guiding us. Um, favorite part, uh, you got me good with that duck. The, the whole idea of going off, I didn't expect you to succeed. That <laughs> really caught me off guard, too. And I was thinking, I my wasn't. brain as a person is like, oh crap, what do we do? Oh crap, what's Ethan gonna do? <laughs> I was gonna do some stuff if you failed. I knew what I was gonna do if you failed. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Um, so it was kind of the panic excitement moment that kicked in. It's really set a really good pace for the show. So that was fine. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I, didn't, I was completely. I was like 100 percent gonna fail this. It'll be great. We'll get some fun consequences. No. Nope. No. Nope. Got a duck. Uh, <laughs> Ethan. Hello, What's I'm you? Ethan. You can find me at Super, Ro- Ro- at Super Robot Bear on Twitter, um, where I post all the things I do, including this. And I'm on a podcast called Too Many RPGs, where we talk to uh, creators and fans of podcasts and actual live or actual actual play streams. I say this every single time, perfectly the first try on the podcast. Can't do it in an outro for my life. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's a lot of fun. It's basically me and my friend Lauren listening to people talk about things they love. So it's it's a good time. Mm-hmm. And I'm actually not doing too much else at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm glad to be here. This is so much fun. Uh, my favorite moments. The first one was when you were like, "Is it Tad?" I'm like, "It totally is Tad," because <laughs> I didn't think about that, but it is. <laughs> um, I also just like talking about. Uh, food scenes because I think it's very interesting to mm-hmm. look into characters like normal life mm-hmm. and food is a very easy way to talk about that yes. food food like music universal communicator mm-hmm. but it also tells you about the area mm-hmm. it does. right like the fact that they have cumin and it's a specialty there especially as long along, uh, along with coffee mm-hmm. means that because it, it actually comes from further up north, but they have that trade route pretty easily to them. Mm-hmm. And they have people rich enough to pay for it. So. Love it. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'm Left Love Lindy. This is my channel. I'm going to go with my favorite part first. Um, my most surprising part was succeeding on taming the duck. That just... I was 110% like gonna go in this. I'm gonna fail. It's gonna be hilarious and epic and awesome. I'll probably take some... Inch- oh, I succeeded. Oops. Uh, huh. Okie dokie. Let's go. Um, 
and then gosh i really like how how uh chester and cookie are like and you're gonna talk about stuff before you do it right and she's like yes about ducks and so they've there's kind of a compromise here and we'll see how it, how it does with the next thing is just gonna have to she's got a list of like things i have to talk about specifically with them first and so not just the concept of just talk to them about anything slightly dangerous doesn't occur to her so it'll be interesting and exciting but you can find me here this is my channel uh we play mrs ravenloft here every tuesday and for the next couple fridays we have in the shadows of Lockhaven, a wonderful little learn by play mouse guard kind of thing uh which is super fun i'm loving it these mice crack me up and they're adorable and Ethan's awesome. Um, you can also find me elsewhere on the internet playing in slash DMing in about a dozen or so tabletop RPGs. Um, tonight on Tales from the Grimm's channel, it's going to be uh, Invisible Sun. We've had a couple weeks off just because players have had IRL stuff come up, but I think we're kind of doing like a speed dating episode. Should be really interesting <laughs> and exciting. So if you like Invisible Sun, check that out and just follow me on Twitter for all the other rest of the stuff. <laughs> going to be real interesting. Uh, but we're going to give a little raid. Um, so I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Even though we had technical difficulties with my internet dying, uh, you know, it happens and it's all good. We will see you later.